That is blood pooling beneath this door. Look at Sobex in Crocodilopolis. Gods, this is an illegal tannery. His mummy's a sloppy work. This is the foulest blasphemy. Hung out to dry like rags. No wonder the place is locked tight. Hiding the murder of gods. That is a lot of gold. Someone is making a big profit from this sacrilege. The mummies are stuffed with gold and valuables. Where are they taking them? There are shipping consignment markings on them. Crocodiles are being slaughtered and mummified. The work is sloppy and careless. This is sacrilege beyond imagining. The mummies are used as coin sacks and stacked like packages. They are using the bodies of murdered gods for smuggling. Hamun. The smell alone turns my stomach. Those who do this deserve death. How can this be happening in Egypt? By the gods, it must be stopped. I need to find where the mummies are being shipped. This tannery must have a dock nearby. <laughs> Someone is in trouble. I don't want to do this, but you put your nose where it doesn't belong, priest. You know this is wrong. Wrong! Killing Sobek's children. Filling their bodies with unclean... Thank you, Major. My life is spared, but it seems much that is good is already dead. I saw the tannery and the mummies. I know what they are doing to Sobek's children. So you have seen it? Do us, Sobek, it is unthinkable. I am Padiaset. I serve in the temple south of the city. Forgive me. I must return. I need to pray for guidance. This is going to take more than prayer, priest. We need to act. The mummies had markings on them. I think they are being moved by ship. Ship? The cult has a trireme. It follows trade routes south of the city. Do what you must, Magi. I will pray for you. But please risk no more bloodshed. Bloodshed comes whether we risk it or not. I should search for the ship's manifest. It will tell me where these mummies are headed.
Ships manifest. The cargo's bound for the Trireme Stranding camp to the west. Why would Sobek priests be dealing with soldiers? I need to go to that camp and find out more. Trireem Stranding Camp. This is the Trireem Stranding Camp. Information I need is probably in the captain's tent. understand why we're dealing with those scale pumps. Have you seen the coffers of gold in the captain's tent? That's a damn good reason right there. What? Those are coming from the Soviet priests? Well then, never mind. I'll call that people any time. <laughs> you poor. Their requests for help keep increasing though. I don't think the captain's happy about it. between the captain and the priest of the 
Count and Ptolemy soldiers are conspiring together. What are they doing? Ancient writing from the old kingdom.
Sutros is angry. The image of Sobek shows the god's will. What will we do? I shall heal Sobek. Continue to worship. I thought the sacred crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened. Petsuchos has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick. Even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsuchos now? Our priest Sehetep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. Sehetep? That cannot be a coincidence. Something is not right. I should take a look at the crocodile's enclosure. No sign of the priest. But Sutros looks agitated. I should try to stay unnoticed. A carcass. It has been chewed, but not eaten. smelling liquid. Ah, the stench burns my eyes. Ah, Nick. Someone was injured in the enclosure. They went up the staircase. priest robe, and it is covered in blood. Whoever was wearing this was badly injured. The blood trail leads outside. What was he doing back here? This was the man who poisoned the crocodiles. He was taking orders from Melina the Hibiscus. Pretty name for a killer. She's at the Neorian naval arsenal, to the south. Who dares touch a god of Egypt? I will hunt down this blasphemer.
This is the place. The hibiscus should be somewhere nearby. A woman amongst Ptolemy's soldiers should not be hard to find. has got to be her. A purple dress. Huh. Just like the hibiscus flower. Talented, but twisted. Set it up again. His sticky fingers are everywhere. He's becoming a serious problem. The poison was just for show. At least the temple crocodiles are not going to die. I should tell the Guardian. Hurry! The safety of all in Crocodilopolis 
segregation of Greek and Egyptian communities is now necessary. Everyone will benefit from the QRA. Guardian of Sobek, the sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives! Your own priest, Sehetep, was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand! He will never do this! What you are saying is blasphemy! Ah, you priests! Forever holding to your superstitions! You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. I should let Padia set know about Sehetep. He is not going to like it. In the land of the Duat, Sobek be merciful to you. Maat, find you worthy. Do Medjai, you are late. Sehetep's men came to kill me. So I see. Not bad for a priest to abhor bloodshed. I was not always a priest. I thought I had escaped all this. Sehetep and I found faith together, joined the temple together. I knew his struggle just as I did. I have to stop him now. You cannot be seen to move against him. Not if the cult is to survive. A priest killing a priest looks bad. I should do this. You are right. You will find him at the Northern Temple. I will meet you outside. Sobek. Sehetep is inside. You will be well guarded. <laughs> I should not be seen in this area. Some say. 
The old kingdom is dead. I don't care who he is. I will feed his infidel carcass to Petsuchos. Treachery far too often, it seems. I should meet Padiaset. succeed do you think the Magi will succeed yes he is a stranger yet Sobek guides him when this is over Sehetep's priests will seek forgiveness be stern but treat them fairly none of us is beyond temptation yes Ham. do a Sobek Sehetep chose death then it had to be I lost a brother today. If I had acted sooner, he might have been restored. Faith cannot be passive. This is my lesson. We will rebuild what has been damaged. But what of the soldiers? They had a hand in all this. They will always meddle. But stay strong. They know now not to mess with the temple. Sobek has warriors too. You honor me, Magi. May Sobek honor you. I don't want you playing with him. The man beast lives there. Do you want to be cut in pieces? Now come away. Seni, forgive me. I overheard you just now. You said something about a man beast. The man beast has been taking people from here for months. 
People have gone missing. Have you told the Falakitai? The Falakitai are useless. Just last week, three fishermen disappeared. Bits of them floated in a few days later. They did nothing. Anyway, we know who it is. That raving old maniac over there. We're watching him. Things are often not what they appear. I should talk to this man-beast. He might be possessed by Sobek himself. Sobek eats with his mouth. He with the pointed teeth. My friend, could I speak with you? Do you know anything about the missing people? I am not your friend. Go away from here! Sobek eats with his mouth. He with the pointed teeth. Sobek eats while he mates. He rents whom he will. You'll not get anything useful out of him. There is meat in the baskets for feeding the fish. Gods, that could be human. Flesh. It is rotting and waterlogged, and hard to identify. It has come here from upstream. This place is it's a... Too crazy to be anything the man taken by the current ends up here. You should leave him alone. This poor child. This place is a damn slaughter yard. But I cannot tell if the flesh is human. In all my years as a Magi, I have never seen anything like this. It is floating here from somewhere farther upstream. Neck. More body parts. Where are they all coming from? More blood in the water. Seems to be coming from that cave. Thank the gods. Hurry, we have to leave before he comes back. Who? Oh, what is happening here? The embalmer. He's throwing people to crocodiles. His guests watch as they're ripped apart. Be calm. You are safe. Where is he now? Safe? No one is safe here. He kidnapped me at the market where I was selling fish. I'm getting out of here. I never imagined anyone could do something like this. I will find a way to the market. This embalmer has given his last show. Neck. This embalmer. Such extravagance. This embalmer is making a lot of money. Penachte! <clears throat> Will not break anything. <clears throat> Stop right there! Pay now! You will pay, Cortes!
Now I embalm you with death! I have become a spectacle. God's deal with those who watched his shows. The story of courageous Captain Foxidas, the magnificent Greek mercenary who single-handedly defeated the despised Gabiniani in epic battle on the high seas? Then gather around and I will amaze you with the legend of Foxidas and the goddess of Siwa. Le you said goddess of Siwa? What was her name? Which battle are you talking about? You have not had! Oh, my friend, then you are in for a treat! Let me tell you how it happened! Legend has it! The noble Greek captain and the Egyptian goddess sailed from Alexandria's Golden Coast in search of the feared Gabiniani fleet, with only their sturdy trireme and loyal crew against the Gabiniani's fabled warships. Floating mountains, carrying 10,000 men, 
bristling with oars and fire. Where are these mongrel Gravignani? My informant assured me they would pass here. A throttle is scrawny neck he told me wrong. Who are the Gabignani? Where do they come from? Exiles of Rome who took Egypt as their home. Traitorous rats everywhere. With the discipline of Rome and the ruthlessness of Ptolemy. We're the opponents of the likes of us. Well, we have to stop them before they can join Ptolemy's fleet. We'll find them, Aya. They send them to ruin. Not one of these salt-soaked hull rats will pass us alive. What say you, shield boy? We are with you, Captain! Alala! Alalala! There! Is that the whole fleet? Poseidon's peace, no, woman. That's only part of their for strength. The lesser part of the looks. Trireme's only. There's no sign of their damned octory. This works in our favor. We can work them down, ship by ship. Strike us at ready, your boys! We attack! Give no quarter, men! These devils will give us none! We have an octary! How will we face it? Show no fear, Damascus! They've not been our kind before! The bloated barge will save them! Warships. Pompey himself would not claim so many. You must not doubt me. I was told it by someone who saw it happen. Captain, we bested them. The Gabignani are finished. Don't be hasty, boy. My spies gave me a greater number than that. They must have split their fleet. We should head east. Straight into the jaws of the crocodile. If your spies tell the truth. <laughs> what of it? I've wrestled more fierce than beasts! And none were a match for our captain! <laughs> your bravado will be your undoing, captain. And ours.
as if rising from the very depths of the underworld, a second bristling wall of hulls appeared. This time, an unbelievable 40 Gabiniani death ships faced our lone heroes. Then another ship rose behind the fleet, the size of which has never been seen before or since. 10,000 warriors crowded its massive decks, smashing sword and spear against brazen shield. This may have been the largest fleet ever to sail the Mediterranean. Silence! Fell like fog. Suddenly, 100 balls of fire leapt up from the Gabiniani decks and bore down upon Foxidas and his stricken crew! All the time they spring from the fog, it is like a nightmare. Ah! Don't let their tricks trouble you, Damascus. It's a ruse to shake our nerves. They gain nothing by it. The flames! Their fire is intense! Foxidas! This weapon could really help our boss. I might know someone who knows something. We could make it happen. Yes! Return this river, boy! Yes! Keep inside the range of the catapult! And the day is ours! Let us finish this!
need more speed! Speed! Speed up! Run away! Gally speed! Legend over the backs of ten times ten thousand drowned Gabiniani. I tell you, I weep just to tell of it. And they say, if you whisper a prayer into a wave or a fold of the sea, you can hear their war cry answer back. Alala! Alala! And that is how it happened. To a word. What a tale. If the goddess' name was Aya, and a goddess she truly is. That may be the only honest part of the story. What is truth? All is permitted in the realm of greatness. One must believe in the act of creation, or else they will join the Gabiniani. You are a fine storyteller, Seni. Though, I cannot tell if you are playing a game with me, or telling a story. They are one and the same, my friend. Married to each other, like the oceans and the rain. Alala! You see it now! Gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. Excuse me. What can you tell me about this place? Can't you see? It's an arena for Roman blood sport. Barbaric, if you ask me. But it's found favor with those desperate to forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. Yovikos. The living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. Oh, Beridoviks. 
the loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Hey, Neb. What can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah. Do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Sir, we need more fighters. They're dying at an alarming rate. Then find me fighters who can actually fight! Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough-knuckled no-name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. A med what? Ah, I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part, like a vicious... mangy dog. Nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So... the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Siwa is a small place. I should go and see. This was a good place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Ketsa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena. <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? <laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum. To make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. Out of the way! 
I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you... You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the Siwan Warriors? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. No pharaoh or god in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> this is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama, it pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of a gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claims to know how to handle a sword. Horus, he was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He is not much more than a bedlam now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena, you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you here. Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. I promise. Dark style and flash, Nick, but you have got a pleasing vicious you. trick for a sand dog. Okay, Kensa, you have got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. Ready. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. The crowds love unfair fights. Do not disappoint them. Or me.
Are they screaming for our blood or for theirs? Any blood will do. No such thing as innocent blood. Do not stake your blade, brother. They certainly will not. Every man here knows the risks. You have taken to this new life easily. Can you see the look on their faces? Oh, they adore me, Bayek. The men, the women. I have everything I could want. They're off to a good start. These two sand bandits are tougher than we look. are sent on special missions and earn more coin than you can imagine. <laughs> then let us make sure they notice us. Don't suffer for that! Stubbers was one of my best ideas. The crowd loves you. I told you we were destined for greatness, Felix. <laughs> greatness? Oh, ho, ho. easy, easy, damsel dust mite. You have a long way to go. It is a good start, but you are not contenders. You do not get to the Gallic brothers by beating a few shit stained novices. Though, to be honest, I hope you make it. I am weary of you nagging me. What do we need to do to face them? Gods and peace, not you two! Just concentrate on the next round. For annoying me, I am adding lions this time. They have not eaten for days. You are their dinner. Find me when you are ready. If what Kensa says is true, any of the gladiators could be working for the crocodile. There might be evidence here of the jobs the Gallic brothers did. Maybe even the identity of their patron. We are on our way, old friend. After all this time, I might finally get my shot at the Gallic brothers. And it's thanks to you. Hey, I would like nothing more. What about these other contracts you mentioned earlier? Oh, the righteous Bayek is willing to dirty his hands. Times have changed, Seni. I suppose it is hard to be a Magi all the time. You will have to ask Felix about those. Quietly. The best way to reach the Crocodile is to beat the Gallic brothers. As if I needed more reason to slit the throats of Shadia's killers. Felix. I've had some gladiators are chosen for... extra work. You heard wrong. And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. Your job, you upstart dog noble, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in the pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Sari. Put on a good show and we all profit. <laughs> Only when Felix can get them. They are much more expensive than men volunteering for a beating. There seems little honor in killing animals. Kill or be eaten by it. Besides, it's caged. We will be fine. As long as we don't freeze. <laughs> You'll regret that! 
Magi and the Slave Girl are unstoppable! More ferocious than wild Sammy. Where's Kensa? Her talents were required elsewhere today. You are going to have to win this one alone. You will be fine. Another errand for the unknown patron? Fighters who ask too many questions do not survive. It is a dangerous job. Accidents happen. I am only keen to prove myself. Then win this match. You will get your chance against the brothers. Beat them, and you will be noticed. Is Kenzo okay? Holy Anubis. I have to win this.
Is this the rise of a new challenger? Will the Gallic Brothers keep their crown? Sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you did me proud. Felix said you had on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. You have done well for a country, Conrad. Your time has come. The crowd is bored with Viridovics and Diovicos destroying opponents with ease. I am counting on you to make this entertaining. One more thing. Do not kill anyone. I want my top four fighters alive for rematches. I have given the Gauls the same order. All right, we will not kill them. But no promises about pain and humiliation. <laughs> this is it, Bayek, our big moment. They will build monuments and scroll our names across temples after this. We will be adored, rich, and champions. <laughs>
The Gallic Brothers are defeated! You killed the child called Shadia! That is the least you deserve! The light up. We didn't kill her at first! <laughs> we have done many terrible things, Siwa! But the murder of the child is not one of them! All hail the new champions! We were the there! The guardians of Siwa! Capture the girl! And take her to Berenike! To, to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child, took a book from her, ordered a stone tied to her ankles, and pushed her in the water. There was nothing we could do. This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron, this crocodile. Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you. You're a mercenary, just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? Bayek. Or death. You know me better than... Death. Bayek, you have to know! So it was Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who killed Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city, Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Henut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. Πάλι 
There's the granary Hotofre spoke of. The crocodile must be inside. heavily guarded. Increased security is a result of our lady's selfless generosity. She has worked tirelessly to provide a safer community for all of us. The magnificent statues of Aphrodite you see around the villa grounds hide a wonderful secret. These images of the goddess of beauty were all modeled after our honorable lady of the villa. Due to the unceasing efforts of our honorable lady, the biome is prospering again. There is more grain than there ever has been. Father, you will want for nothing as long as you stay by my side. As long as you are loyal, as long as you never fail. Yes. Look, sir. Is this the luxury you sought? To be a slave to an enemy of Egypt? I'm sorry it had to end this way, old friend. May you find peace in my heart's embrace. Shadia! Murdered by one of you. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you failed to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henut and Hotefres. Henut was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. You destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia!
Troy, forget about Aya! That circle's here! <coughs> they must have found out about... Oh, shit! Fuck! D? Oh. Shit! They're here, too! Okay, Layla, listen. I know you. And I know you'll find a way out of this. <sighs> Picked up that blade I found. Good. How's it going? Bad. to do this. It's them or me. Listening to this, you work for Abstergo and I'm dead. Do me a favor and make sure Sophia Ricken hears it. My dream was to work on the Animus Project. I waited 12 years. Waiting got me nowhere. So I built an Animus that lets me access anyone's memories, even ancestors not my own. I even witnessed the origins of the Assassins. Artifacts, tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends, I found them. By killing me, you've lost all this knowledge. I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? What is she? Oh, Habibti. I should have listened to you. Killed all these naked yadet. Polodorus must be told. To Heraklion. What is going on? My friend, you came. <laughs> I am glad. Who is this? Where is Renut? My wife is wherever she goes, withdrawn and cold. This is uh, yesterday. She was just leaving. You are a pig. I was bored anyway. Thanks for the wine. Renut is probably down at the lake. I will take you to her. 
Let me know when you are ready to go. Otifles, what is this? What are you doing? You will lose everything. I know, I know. I am useless to anyone right now. Then stop being useless. Be angry. Pick up your sword and start fighting. I hung up my sword years ago. I only got involved because Apollodorus practically demanded it. He put us all threatened by some grave conspiracy. Now Shali has dead. Something big is happening. You are right to try to help. I was stupid. I did not want to do it. Kenneth insisted, said it was our duty. If I had not listened to her, Shali, I would still live. She will be up ahead. We built a shrine by the water. Shadia loves the water. We feed the fish before supper. I mean, she did. We used to. Henut. It is good to see you. Henut? This is how she is now. <laughs> there is something that might help. In Siwa, we have a ritual to mark a loved one's passing. Would you mind? Go ahead. The ritual requires something. I will return shortly. I have what I need. You'll do what you're told, you lazy shit. If you need more grain, grow more. It's not my problem. Captain! Henut, no! We can't. I know you are not extorting grain from this farmer. Because you know that would be violating several Egyptian laws. As officials of Fayum, we both know it. Don't we? I will see you soon. Official. My husband we must shake off our grief we cannot let others suffer too not when we can stop it you were a fighter once it is time to fight again you see yourself the corruption there is no one to protect the people this is not over I do not recognize this. Maybe Hotefres knows more. He will not be missed. But he spoke of a commander. Someone else is giving the orders. This is not over. You live! They'd marked Henut for death. 
Death found them first. I envy them. Well, it had to be done. These soldiers do not seem to understand anything else. There's more. The captain was under orders. I found this insignia on him. Do you know it? Yes. This is not good. It is from Fort Bubastos to the east. Run by another Malakia who thinks himself untouchable. <sighs> Henut was right. People will continue to suffer unless we act. Bayek, I am sorry to ask this. We need your help. You have it. There's something I must do fast, though. I will return soon. Shadia, my lotus. No other will suffer as you did. I swear it. Goodbye, my little tadpole. Swim forever free. It is true. The soldiers were only the beginning. We have to deal with this commander. We need more information. How far does the corruption go? It may rise as far as Ptolemy's inner circle. We cannot trust any Philakitai. We cannot do it alone. We need Fayum. Most of the farmers will not talk for fear of the soldiers. But they are angry. It will not take much to convince them. Let me talk to that farmer the captain was threatening. I will spread the word. Zeni, I saw what happened with the soldiers. Nebet Khenu took a big risk. I appreciate what she did, but it won't change anything. I'm sorry, but I must keep working. I've got a stack of fires to light. Let me help, then. Lighting your fires. You don't give up, do you? Ra will ensure your crops are fertile, sir. There you are. It is time to rise up against the soldiers. Hotefres will fight with you. Hotefres? He abandoned us long ago. His father was a good man. He gave his son an Egyptian name. We loved him for that. But he could not give him an Egyptian heart. Hotefres means satisfied in our tongue. But he never was. He soon left us to the hyenas and crocodiles. Yet crocodiles may still be defeated. The captain is no more. Rise, Seni. Spread the word. You defeated the captain? Wow. You are a madman. Okay. If you are willing to do this, I will join you. I will spread the word, Seni. Huh? 
I did not know things were this bad. I mean, I knew there was trouble, just not like this. This is my fault. I did not want the responsibility here in Fayum. The inheritance was forced on me. I wanted to stay on my ship, the adventure. Now, I realize. Giving up is a choice. And I am still alive. They must be in the villa. Take the pack. You, come with me. Soldiers! Where are you, Malakia? Come down. We need a talk. Looks like the choice has been made for me. Come, brother. Let us talk to them. With our swords. I have got your back. And it is good to have you back, brother. You're talking! Fight well for someone retired. <laughs> I am not old yet, Siwan. I can see that. But it will not be enough. The soldiers will come in greater numbers now. I inherited more than a strong sword arm. I will hire a private army if I need to. I might have a better idea. Bayek, could you accompany me on a short journey? I'm ready. Let's go. You two make a good team. Potefres has lost none of his fire. You sound proud of him. <laughs> it is nice to have back the man I married. Where are we going? There is a rebel camp nearby. It is to the east of here, by Fort Bubastos. We are going to meet with them. Rebels? We're dealing with them, not Andy Raff of Alexandria. Alexandria is no stranger to intrigue, Magi. Favors are sometimes traded for information or protection. Such alliances are necessary if not officially acknowledged. Just up ahead. <laughs> we should be cautious. Rebels are not known for their hospitality. I sent word. They are expecting us. Amazing anyone walked out of that death trap. I am Hent. I sent word from Philadelphia that we were coming. We need your help. You wasted your time. Sorry, we cannot help you. We are not asking for charity. We can offer food, supplies, and information. All we require in return is protection for our people. I said we cannot help. Soldiers captured our leader down at the dam. Then perhaps we can help you. This is Bayek of Siwa. You are Bayek of Siwa? We were told what you did at the arena. Beating the Gallic brothers like a madman. And I suppose today, I play the madman again. Says fishermen are disappearing. <laughs> See you maintain the peace. Now, 
Go! Now! Thank you. Who are you to attack soldiers so openly? Don't you fear waking Greece? I am Baek of Siwa, and I am more afraid of Egypt sleeping. You crazy Siwan! My men spoke of you, fighting in the arena single-handed like a madman. Nick! They told me dogs have no chance if you're on our side. And I will need you on my side when it matters. The way back from here is clear. Before you go, I need a favor. Henut is waiting at your camp. She will ask for your help to protect her people. I owe you my life. You have my word it will be done. Would you also tell her I go to Fort Bubastos? I have business with the commander there. Alone against a fortified garrison? Are you crazy? Perhaps. I am Bayek of Siwa. Whoa. Yeah. Horns, voices. Someone else is attacking the fort. It seems all of Fayum has turned against the commander. I should meet the others. Hey! I've got a problem here! I'm part of the troops! Farmers staged a protest to distract the soldiers. They were fearless. The rebels also did their part. You've inspired them, Bayek. In truth, they are in awe of you. Our farms will be well protected. They love their crazy sea one. They won't let another crocodile plague the Fayum again. Your people are free now. It is a good start. Otifres, it is time to live up to your name. And my duty as a husband. Shadia liked you immediately, you know. You always have a home here, if you need it.
Whoa. Oh. Need something, Hunter? Prosperity for all? There is no grin. They have burned our farms and driven us out. Where will we get our food? Whoa. We know what Greek prosperity means. Famine for Egypt.
Halt! Hey, what?
ancient writing from the Old Kingdom.
three transmission. Segment two. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 93 days since the great catastrophe. Connecting your speed. Hello, world. Language is the key to our mutual understanding. Yours and mine alone. Retransmission. Segment 2. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 93 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Hello, world. Language is the key to our mutual understanding. Yours and mine alone. We listened to your time. We learned. And today, we'll exchange words from the age of post-truth. They mean nothing to him. Human language carries knowledge and wit, lies and broken promises. Through language, you share fear, excitement, hope. It is the syntax with which you articulate what surrounds you. A structure to express and share your understanding of the world. It conveys abstraction, change, and uncertainty. Human language is flexible. It can even become mathematics. It solves and predicts, weighs and decodes. It can count objects using basic numbers in one breath and solve quadratic equations using imaginary ones in the next. You've engineered dialogues with thinking machines in an attempt to add new vocabulary to expand your understanding of reality. But your mastery of the code is rudimentary at best. No surprise, you were designed to have boundaries after all. And one cannot speak of that which one cannot conceive. The code. Equations that define life. They are nestled deep within every star and every mote of dust. Every second that passes is a word, a symbol, all part of an intricate yet simple language existing within the framework of time itself. It is the one rule which applies to us all. Immutable, inescapable. The code is a bridge, a single point of cohesion between your civilization and mine. It is a language that can be read, that tells of what was, what is, and what will be. A language that we who came before can read, though you cannot. Time is more than the hour of the day, the reading of an atomic clock, something to lose, something to run out of. Time is a set of rules, not unlike the language you so dearly use to converse with your powerful machines. Time is a system that defines what comes to be. That is how we understand it. The code is time, and time is code. As you scratch the surface and uncover the truth, ask yourself if there is something more something else. No need to be puzzled. You've seen time written before. You are surrounded by it as we speak. To your untrained mind, time might just look like paths and notes. To us, it is not unlike a chalkboard covered in calculus. It reveals a window through which stretches the map to infinity. Yeah? See, as I speak of it in its true form, your mind is incapable of making sense of it. Were you to read, you'd learn about the other simulations. You'd learn about the genesis of who you came to be. You'd learn about space and its fluidity. Simply put, time is the language which existence is made of. All our existences. Your, mine, and all those you dare not imagine.
wind. Sandstorm coming.
Papa, you know how you're Egyptian and mother is Greek. What if Egypt and Greece go to war? Greeks and Egyptians do not hate each other. We are all the same. It feels like they do. A priest in the temple school said Greeks were destroying Egypt. He was wrong to say that. There is good and bad in everyone. You are the child of both Egypt and Greece. You are proof they do not hate each other. Ah, the great twins. To the Greeks, they are twin brothers. To Egyptians, they are he-goats that rise from the underworld, bringing pestilence and protection. Even the gods have two sides.
Here.
Damn it! Where? Think you're special, do you? <laughs> hey, what?
the sands.
Papo, do you think I'll have many children? <laughs> hey, I hope you give your mother and I many grandchildren. I'll have to find a wife then. You are young, my son. There's no reason to rush. I won't rush. But what if I already know? You need to learn how to be a Magi first. Oh, Tawaret. The hippopotamus who walks. Lady of the birth house. She is the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Mistress of the horizon. She brings with her the yearly flood of Ar. Stop right there. Hey, what's the meaning of this?
Talk to this girl you like. I didn't say I liked her. We were friends, but she's being strange and avoiding me. Maybe because she likes you too. We often do not say what we mean. It will come to you in bursts. Why would she avoid me if she likes me?
This is something your mother should explain. I am better with the stars. The goat fish. Called Capricornus by the Greeks. The god has the head of a ram and the body of a fish. You see? Even the gods do not always make sense. writing from the old kingdom.
I should be cautious around here.
rise out, you son of a ransom ransom.
of limits. Hey, wait! Uh.
Enjoy your final minute.
find anything. Nothing.
ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. Transmission, segment one, acquiring contemporary aid. It has been 91 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. How real is the ground you walk on? How real is the machine you toy with, the music you hear, the lover you kiss, or the foe you hate? Your foot taps the ground. Does that make it real? Your enemies bleed deep red. Does that make them real? The confusion growing within you due to my words. Does it make you real? What if reality wasn't what you thought it was? What if this was all a construction? A masterfully crafted simulation? You know such things exist. You've been in the Animus before. In fact, Aren't you in one right now? You know just how real a simulation can feel, even when it has long vanished. You've experienced the bleeding effect. Layers upon layers of reality, each blurring into the next. Which is real and which is not? What if none are real? What if everything you know is false? We ran thousands of simulations, searching for the right version, searching for Desmond. 
Each one of them felt real. Very real. But there's no way of truly knowing, is there? Not for sure. Anything can be simulated, and finding the answer could mean erasure from the build, from the code, from everything. So much to ponder and so little computational capacity. Take your time. This question has haunted humanity since its creation. It is a worry, a thought wormed deep in the collective mind. Two thousand years ago, Zhuang Zhu fell asleep. He dreamed he was a butterfly and woke up unable to decide if he was a man dreaming of a butterfly or a butterfly dreaming of a man. In Plato's cave, prisoners were chained and forced to watch shadows dancing on a wall. Freedom was denied to them until they accepted the intangible as reality. It's everywhere. Ask this professor at Oxford University or this cosmologist at MIT. And you? What would you choose if you truly knew? Would you even want to understand? A dream within a dream where even the truth is sometimes a lie. In any case, simulations are not meaningless. They have purpose. The question isn't whether or not you are in a simulation. What matters is how much of your free will is actually yours. No matter how true you are. Your Turing test would do nothing to determine whether you are a conscience or a code. Eliza, the natural language processing computer program, she managed to pass the test, did she not? And she was very much a machine. So, in Eliza's own words, how does that make you feel? Are you sure? the Magi from oh. Siwa. Iwu.
Vincenzo. Gratos has fallen. Stella doesn't usually go adventuring for so long. My father's car is at She peace. knows to be careful. Let's she move. Bring the Donald back on. We have it all. Look at it. Why can't the Pharaoh's soldiers just leave us alone? We refuse their rule. Neither they nor their supporters can suffer us to leave. Whoa. Papo, what is best in life? To seek justice and truth. To live with honor. To protect the weak and the poor. And to love your mother. My friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. We are Magi, son. Not barbarians. Epis, the bull god. He is the strength of the pharaoh. Each year, he is born as a calf with special markings. The pharaoh finds this calf and worships it.
heavily guarded.
Something of importance was here.
Whoa. I should be cautious around here. Sounds. Mountains of sand.
Cyrus was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother, who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, Iset, searched and found all the pieces except one. What happened to the other piece? It was eaten by a fish. It was his... Uh, so Osiris was resurrected and became lord of the underworld. Oh, so we couldn't have children anymore, huh? You are growing up far too quickly. Osiris, the father of gods, brother of Set, who murdered him. It is said that Iset's tears for her beloved husband created denial. That is the last one. I can take all the shards back to Siwa now. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and Pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My son. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. Like Egypt. You are forever changed. The stars are yours now. And your place is with them.
Get back, Harry. This is shit. is never to be harmed again. None of these men will survive. of Anubis into them! Ah, damn it, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Stop! So much for the commander. He may be carrying important information. Ah, this may tell me what their plan is.
Hey, hold on. now. I will destroy these cuts, and Jibade will soon meet Anubis.
Vade must be somewhere in this fortress. Uh, they won't attack on sight here. Commander is still unwilling to join us. Soon more soldiers will arrive. We'll outnumber him four to one. We'll have to give him. is one. Now the other two. You'll try to hold out in his fortress. We'll impose a siege and starve them out. Excellent idea. Somewhere out here, something is going to die. Hey, wait! Back then, I will deal with this dog. Now to destroy the guns.
Must be careful now. One more. Bribery. Very well. I've done what I can. Now I will see Otis in Alexandria. He may have found out what this is all about. soldiers doing here? Moria! 
cosas para las que vas a matar a Steam. What has happened here? This body. Oh, I fear it is Otis. of a scribe. Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. <laughs> Letters and papers from the royal palace. Ah, nothing of use here. Scrolls about the palace budget. Nothing of interest. Poor girl. One of the servants. Wearing the robes of a scribe. Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. This is Otis's blood. He tried to flee. They were determined to leave no witnesses. He was attacked in his sleep. This jar has something in it. This jar has something in it. Hidden notes. Must be important. You did fine work to gather this information, Otis. As you traverse the Duat, I swear to you, if I get the chance, I will make certain this General Rufio pays.
Whoa. Greeks grow fatter and richer in Egypt, while we go hungry. The poor are taxed more than the rich. Why is this happening? This is our home. Just as the praying A man, man is said, coming. he is armed. His farm was what should to we do? By Ra himself. I am armed too. We are not in any danger. Be calm. I am Bayek, a Medjai. A real Medjai. Not a Philakitai, I hope. <laughs> I'm Zahra. This was my farm. Who burned it down? Hordes. The naked Iadets trying to drive us out. They are lucky I wasn't here. I would have spread their guts across my fields. I am going to warn my Greek neighbor. His farm might be next. Please join me. I will follow you, Zahra. We have to protect this land. Yes. It is rich and fertile and worth fighting over. Like me. His farm isn't far from here. See if you can keep up, Merjai. What brings you to the Fayum? We get few visitors this way. Magi especially. I am... hunting murderers. You came to the right place. Full of dogs worth killing. The Fayum is not the oasis it once was. How long have your farms been getting burned? Since the dawn of the new Ptolemy. Most of the farmers, they could not fight back and got pushed out. My family was amongst those who fought. The struggle became our way of life. I fought so much I forgot to fall in love. I am a romantic though. My father wanted me to marry an... I do not suppose your Greek neighbor is harboring these fire bandits. That would make things simpler. But no, those are definitely uninvited guests. Keep a safe distance. I'm going to... Nick, no. You are not. You keep a safe distance. I will be amidst the blood splatter. <laughs> a farmer warrior with a duat wish. Fine. Let us dance together. <gasps> hey! Huh? save you time and come to you. We are here to help. When we bring you to the fire, you will understand. You will be purified. The flames will release your pain. It will all burn away. Son of Ra will set you free. Maybe you would like me to carry him. Zakra, that was frightening. Nick, beyond we cannot live scared. 
You must fight back. You truly are a gift from the god, Zahra. I tell all my Greek friends of Zahra, the warrior farmer. We need to find the bandit's nest. I might know where it is. Servants track riders coming south from the White Desert. There is nothing out that way except some ruins. And they mention the name Son of Ra. I think he is their leader. Son of Ra? He will soon be the son of nothing. Into the desert we go, Baek. Baek, we need to get moving. It's a long damned way. Okay, let's get there. Oh. Gods, by Anubis, I love the desert. It awes me, it always has. I cried like a little girl the first time I came here. I didn't know why. My father told me I was being silly. The desert brings out different sides to us. A fighter like you must have a few farmers interested. Have you never wanted a family of your own? You do not have anyone in mind. I fight too much. Well, maybe a Magi warrior could change that. <laughs> That's an invitation. That looks like ruins up ahead. The son of Ra, the real leader, has been giving orders from prison. He is being held by soldiers at a nearby caravansarai. He has been ordering the burnings. He thinks he's a god and invincible. Then we'll make the neck ear that bleed and prove him wrong. You fight well, Baik. As do you. Your study was not wasted. believe this son of Ra is a god? How did he convince them of that? Ra's son? That's insane. And it's creepy. 
I have seen it before. If you want to believe in something badly enough, you will believe anything. And do anything. Zahra, do not argue with me about this. I have to do this next task alone. Stop saying that camel shit. I'm not waiting around while you do the fighting. Look, it is cleaner this way. It'll be easier for me to get in alone. All right. Have it your way. I'll be nearby. Area is off limits. I was asleep in a mound of dead. Now I rise from the very end. easily for a god! I am nobody. Nobody. But when the son of Ra stands on the mountain and says, Do it! It gets done. Next! You told them to murder! I am not sorry. Is Bayak of Siwa sorry? I lost my family. You lost your family. We have the right to do anything we want to anyone! No! We are different! You burnt farms! You killed innocents! You're insane! Hypocrite! Yeah! With a pile of 1,000 dead bodies in front of me, it doesn't change me. The world will burn. The Order won't save it. You will burn with it, Magi. May you walk the land of the Duat. Zahra. Ha, get you. Hot. Stay there. Kid. 
Son of Ra is dead. It was disturbing. His madness almost made sense. If you stare deeply enough into any madness, there is a logic. So what now? The fires are stopped. Your farms are safe. I don't know. I am hungry, though. Now we return to the farm to feast in peace. Is that an invitation? <laughs> you are the magic. You figure it out. My gate is open and my fruit is sweet. I saw the beast Whoa. with my own eyes. Demons, 20 <laughs> hands tall with cruel forked tongues and black skin. Their eyes burned me. Everyone is gone. The monsters took them while we farmed. Gods, save us! What happened to you? We were all attacked by demons. They took the boy. What boy? Why didn't anyone stop them? I tried. I am just a farmer, no warrior. The boy was mad. He thought he could fight the demons. He is just a boy at the broken tower. I ran away. I am... <laughs> A ruined tower? I cannot leave the boy alone in the desert. I must find him. His story was insanity then. Boy, what are you doing out here alone? My business is my own. Why is a protector coming here? There are rumors of disappearing villagers, demons. And a missing boy. Our village did not disappear. We were taken by bandits. I am the only one left. But I am going back to save my father. If you go into the desert alone, you will die. Then I die. I can do nothing else. You are brave, but foolish. A son's duty to his father is to live. I cannot let you go alone. Come if you want to. My duty is to save my father. You are just a boy, but you have the conviction of a man. Your father would be proud. We have to hurry. The desert will take us if the hyenas do not find us first. Follow me. Whoa. Your father! Are you certain he lives? No, but I have to try. My mother passed many floods ago. I do not remember her. My father raised me alone. Sandstorm! We must face it straight on! I don't have the time to wait! I have to return his horse to him. Alive or dead, he will need it in the afterlife. If he lives, I will save him. If he does not, I will honor him with my death. And we will ride through the field of reeds together.
boy, you must stay here. The way forward is dangerous. I will do everything in my power to rescue your father. Saving my father is my duty, not yours. I am not a boy. I am Rahotep of Dionysius, and I am going. I am Bayek of Siwa, and I will not take you into danger. You are not taking me. I am taking myself. Ah, damn you, Rahotep. Should have tied you to a tree. You have only just met me, yet I have answered all your questions truthfully. I am going to save my father. You have no duty here. You cannot forbid me anything. I am not your son. You are not the only one with a duty. I am a Magi, and my duty is to protect. Magi? There are none of you left. Just Philakes who sack our villages and kill our mothers. Protectors are corrupt. We need new Magi. New protectors. We need people and Magi to be as one, Rahotep. I don't see it. Is the goddess the answer? Cleopatra? I cannot say for certain. But someone has to do what the Magi did. Honor and Egypt are both dying. I will have children and teach them, so that honor... Stay low. We're near the bandit camp. The guards can see us. Rahotep, my son was like you. He also fought a man's battle and died doing it. Would you stay hidden? All right, Bayek. I will listen to you in this. But if you fall, I will take your place. See the lookout tower there? The guards from time to time abandon their post to piss. We can pass through then. You have an eye for strategy. Your father should be proud. Now keep to the shadows and wait. I should be cautious around here. Villagers, let's go. We need to leave this area. Quickly, this way. They left horses over here. Hurry, let's go. You are alive!
Is everyone okay? Where is my father? Rahotep, I'm sorry. The demons took him to the crocodile pit. How can anyone fight them? Demons do not bleed as these do. Listen to me. Each of you owes your life to my father. Turo! Remember he took a lashing to protect your daughter's honor. And you! Remember he crossed the desert to get your sick father a healer. Now my father needs you. If he lives, we save him. If not, we avenge him. Either way, we fight! <laughs> Truly, you are your father's son. You are right, Rahatep. Demons or not, we will follow you. Are we ready? We have been ready since the day the demon bandits attacked. We ride to save my father! And may a moon ride with us! Here! You have my spear! Are you here? A friend. Can you walk? We need to get you out of here. I don't think so. I can't see. They tortured and blinded me. There is a dock outside of the camp that is safe. Soul. He slew five of the demons alone. I saw it. Rahotep, you are a man today. You have earned your horse. I can no longer lead. You must lead us now. Father, Bayek of Siwa is also here. He fought with us. You will always be honored at our village. We will make a feast tonight. Will you join us? Your son is brave. I'm glad to have helped him. Though I doubt he will need help in the future, he will lead you well. Now, I must go to hunt my own demons.
Part of a set. Clearly, they protect something of value. The last key, eh? Maybe I will pay that sad fishing village a visit. fishing village the Philakes mentioned. <laughs> that woman has a warrior's bearing. She could be the one spoken of in the letter. Halt! Who are you? A man who respects his elders. I know all the warrior castes. You speak like a Magi. I am one, and I seek your key. Why would I give it to you, when I refuse it to my brothers? Your brothers are dead. They had orders to execute me. These are hard times we live in. Prove yourself as a protector, and I will give you the one thing I have left. The key. Crocodiles plague our village. You will find them roaming east of here.
Your village should be safe from crocodiles for a time. Good. You know, I always admired the Magi. I wish I could have been one of you. There are so few of us left. The Philakis were always short on honor. Here is the key to my warrior's chest. Make something of my legacy in this wretched world. Find the chest sunk in Mother Nile. A little south of here. Luku has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion. A city of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desires. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayak. You arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ugh. I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. <clears throat> Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? 
Aya is still defending the city. We are expecting Pompey and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hands that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the Order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brother's inner circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' worries. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug. He leads them. Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian, and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order, and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Votuo! Just kill me already, you coward! Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job. Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main Philakis is a man named Venator. We heard rumors he is lurking around the brothel. I will clean this town up and ensure our safety. My plan is to rename this temple in my name. Is the town safe yet? I got busy and distracted. It is a beautiful region. Any luck? Enjoy the brothel. Time is of the essence if we want to catch Septimius. I am working on it. Ah, look. It is the Magi. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Cabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time. But not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday. So don't speak too hard with them, hmm? Oh. You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabignani named Venator. 
Shh. Do not say that name. She's a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. By Anubis, this place has been busy. Venator does not work alone. Blood on the walls. This Venator is sick. What have you and your men been up to? This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. Lutes, lipstick, and scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. My gods, a crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants, they will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion, somewhere high. Venator, more than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike. Look, later on, I plan on playing the loot for the queen. You look great. You are... Alexis! He was an imposter. A Roman man who wants to kill the queen. I am doing you a favor. Turn to the broth. Let's leave Cleopatra and enjoy life. No way, Futro. I can't wait to burn Cleopatra. I told you, Venator, that he even paid me to light the braziers. Apparently, Cleopatra's defenses are weak. This will be the easiest assassination in the world. Stop 
Nunc serva donus descendus, incumbite! My love. Bayek! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Beach. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in moments. Keep talking. You shall find yourself without a head. Did you stop by the broth and see my handiwork? Your intimidation is sad. Come, let me give your car a break. You fool to all. You think you can change any of our plans? You will soon be dead. That is strange enough for me. Get to Cleo! We are the Gabagnanis, and Egypt is ours! Hurrah! My warriors were thwarted, but I shall not be. Two axes isn't enough axes. Let this queen die. The only dignity she has left is death. Death requires dignity. Allow me to decorate you, for you are the most decorated official. Place in the duat for your brother Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? 
Just a flesh wound. <laughs> I... I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. <whistles> Appears those Gabinianis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Septimius is the shit-eater. He is the man we must escort to the Devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjai. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Death hangs in the air. The stench is great. We're getting familiar with rotten flesh. Are those bodies? Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear deaths? No. An unceremonious removal. Looks like we missed the boat. Simeos has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace.
Kratos has fallen. Finally, my father's cry. And so it was proven that Ptolemy was a false pharaoh. And so, the scouts were right. Your Bayek, the Midjai from Siwa, son of the Nile and defender of the people. I am Nawa, and the rebel cause needs your strength. My oath is to protect. Tell me more. Sebni, my cousin, told the children stories of Alexander the Great. Of course, two of the children decided that meant there was treasure of his to discover nearby. As children will do. Indeed. Sebni and one of our warriors went to search for the children, but the Pharaoh soldiers captured them. Do you know where they are? Yes. One of our scouts saw them. They're being held prisoner in Camp Hetu Imazo, north of here. Please find them. Sebni is the only one who knows where those children have run off to. I will find him, and then the children. the beacon! Get us out of here! Thank you for rescuing us. Oh, this is my fault. By Anubis, I swear, I just wanted them to dream a little. If only I had not told them those stories. Enough, Sydney. Children will be children. Let's just find them. That is why I am here. Any idea where they went? The ancient temple of Alexander the Great, maybe. That is the one I was telling them about. It is northwest of here. It's been a while. They might have gone west to Theos Elpis Rift. We have a camp there. Very well. I will scour the temple area. You head for the camp. I'll go with you. Sebni will go back to the chasm camp, where it is safer for dreamers to be. <laughs> the children used to run free here, but ever since the Pharaoh's guards arrived... What was once a playground is now a death ground. Yes. The Pharaoh's men are snakes, coiled in the sand beneath our feet. They kill adults and children alike. Ah, uh, the desert is meant for all souls, hunters and poets, not the slaughter of innocents. You know this place well. I grew up here. I love it. But the Pharaoh's men spoil everything they touch. Tell me about the children. 
Etanu is a good student. He'll be a scholar one day. Estella, I'm training her. She's always protecting her friend. Strong, a good little warrior. Do you train all the children to become rebels? They are free to choose as they please. But they all hate the Pharaoh's men. <laughs> ah, people will blame Estella for this. What do you mean? She is loud and outspoken. He has the adventurous heart. Estella protects. People just don't listen. They are loyal to each other. They are good children. Hey, stop! This is it. Let's split up. We should be able to find traces of their presence faster that way. Children's sandals. We move to climb this wall. These ostraka are similar to those used by the children Nawa was teaching. They must have dropped it here. No tsunami. These ostraka are similar to those used by the children Nawa was teaching. They must have dropped it here. Notes on Alexander the Great and the temple. And many wild theories as to what treasures might be here. Fresh footprints. Child-sized. They were here. What makes him... Cloth. From a child's... Keep still and try to stay quiet. I will be right there. The entrance is barred. I will have to find another way inside. A hidden entrance. It must lead inside the temple. I will have to... I will have to find another way inside. for rescuing me. I am no lord. You may call me Bayek. Now, tell me what happened to your child. We came looking for the legendary treasure of Alexander the Great. Our teacher told us all about him, and we knew there had to be more. We managed to get into the temple, but then the snakes came out of the water and surrounded us. What about Estella? She did not want to leave me. But I told her to go and get help. She used the shield for protection. Not a single snake touched her. But that was hours ago, and I am worried. 
She should have been back with help by now. If she is not with you, something must have happened to her. Let's get you out of here first. Follow me. I trust you have learned your lesson. I know. If not for Bayek, those snakes would have eaten me whole. Well, perhaps not whole, but it would have been a dire fate nonetheless. Now, did Estella say where she was going? She went to the chasm camp to find help. I will go look for the little warrior. your help. Magi, I am afraid. Once again, you have come to our rescue. We will forever be in your debt at this rate. Hetanu is safe. Hamid is with him. Oh, thank the gods. I wish I could say the same for Estella. Their leader, Medon, took her as she arrived. He wanted the great shield she was carrying, and when she refused to give it to him, he snatched her up. He kept asking her if there was more treasure. Pisa Oros. That is where he probably took her. No one ever comes back from there. Please, you must go find her. Medon will torture her to get what he wants. I will find her. And I will take care of Medon. The Citadel is in the Southwest Mountains. Medon patrols between here and the Citadel. Just look for an angry bald man surrounded by bodyguards. with it.
should offer some measure of respite to the rebels. Now to find the citadel and save the child. Wait a minute. Clear up. Hurry. Will not. Slow down the pursuit. I'll get to the others. Shot that. Hey, to me, brother. Worms take you. You are the way out of this. Set, thank you. Stay uh -huh. there. Oh, my God. 
Escape route planned out. You understand. Now climb on the path and drive us out of here. Warrior, that was a chariot ride worthy of Set himself. Did the rebel send you? Those men were going to kill me. You show much fire for one your age. You were too in my place. The Pharaoh's dogs seek to wipe us out and control everything. They do not understand. Life must flow freely or else everything rots. They wanted my treasure, so I fought back. Besides, I had to protect Hitanu. If they had found him, they would have killed him. I have been so worried. Your friend is safe. He's back at the camp with the others, where you should be as well. I know, I know. Be more careful, Estella. Stay out of trouble, Estella. One day, though, one day I'll be just like you. I will liberate the desert so we can all be free. On that day, come find me, young warrior. It will be an honor to fight by your side. vigilant.
Is this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of these signs. Scraps of a message. Ah, there's too much missing. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here, about the statue's stomach. What does it represent? Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here. The crocodiles must have devoured it. The lid of a sarcophagus. There was a symbol here. But it is too damaged for me to make out. Troubling. This reminds me of a sign of circuit I have already seen. Many of the clues are eroded, but this death was violent, purposeful, and obscene. Sarcophaga inscribed with the mark of circuit. How much death does she require? What is that sound? Voices? Ghosts? Demons? I need to find the source of the chanting.
is this insolence? Who dares to intrude upon our most sacred work? Sacred? A trail of death led me here. This cavern reeks of the profane. Are you the bloody hand responsible? The goddess Serket is she who tightens the throat, and the one who lets us breathe. I do her will. I am her sting. All of the souls were chosen from lesser faiths. But we study their organs and read the signs. Soon, we will know Serket's secrets and become immortal. This was your last chance to win the goddess's favor. Let's test your immortality, shall we? Over here! Come, brother! <laughs> Vain ravings to the gods. Welcome. Could use that. Deal. Yes, all right. Could use that. Deal. Yes, all right. Use that. Deal. Yes, all right. Kiriu is Osimo Paragina Setaha. Could use that. Deal. Yes, all right. Could use that. Yes, all right. Could use that. Yes, all right. Thiriu ezodimo paragigna setaha. Deal. 
Gignoski de Brati. Yes, all right. Deal. Thiriu, a dothimo para gignaseta. Could use that. Yes, all right. Could use that. Deal. Yes, all right. The popote ora cartiaf. Could use that. Yes, all right. Could use that. Deal. Could use that. Thiriu, a dothimo para gigna se tacha. Yes, all right. Santorias. Deal. Could use that. Deal. Yes, all right. Could use that. The popote ora cantiaf di la fronia. Yes, all right. Deal. Thiriu, a dothimo para gigna se tacha. Could use that. Santorias. Deal. Yes, all right. Deal. Move! Move! Hold on, you! Could use that. Oh, you can not skip it right. Yes, all right. The popote ora can be after that from Could use that. Thiriu, a dothimo para gigna se tacha. Yes, all right. Samorias. Could use that. O Gignoski de Prati. E na fornisa se volite. Θυρίου, εδώ δημο παραγίγνε σε τάχα. Της μπορείας. Της οφαλής γάρ, δια νέα νεογίν. Του φοράς βλάξ. Ου γιγνώσκι τη πράττη. Κλείρ δε βέι! Hey, what manner of fool are you? Δε πόποτε ώρα κάτσι αυτή η αφρονία. Could use that.
Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on the pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. 
How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Ah la 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, first stories. That's right. I was a hired hull then, too. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch, and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only thing into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Only a charade. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any great is here, it's yours. Tolemites! Burn them! La -la -la! Let's go! We Send have nothing on us! Give ah, them a taste up. of our fire! Gully speed, easy pay! Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. What a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my shield smells like charcoal. Damastes, please, shut up! We press on! With caution. We're not yet in calmer waters. Tempo! Pick up the pace! There! More autonomy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those Nekatiadet will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya! Without catapults! Ha la la la! Shoot them and go take them, you slackers! They're going to rob us! Heave to! But not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! 
to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle! By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking Stormborn! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the reed boats, use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. 
Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Ah! Free you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, ah! <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm them. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps, a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Dogs. Tell me. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Uh, I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionnaire, at ease. Domi, you stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. My palace is at your disposition, Gaius. Pompey was bound to be killed soon. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> What is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> uh. 
My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bortinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's. Thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. Around! Tight a squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days.
Where to now, my love? It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades with us. We are the ones. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with this little sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa. The vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me to you faint. Together we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar? And starts impressing us. Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries.
Memorias para las que más mata tu dan estilo. Manía en cantar, Axel. Prati. Just kill me. Finish the damn job. I come to save you. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius. They are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring. This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar.
Romans now? Which invading army will oppress us next? <laughs> These Romans ignored us at their peril. We will riot. No! Fellow citizens, we must take up arms. I'm heading to the Serene. Oh. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi. We will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne. <laughs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. Proof Caesar wrong, my love. Careful now. Well guarded here. Thank you. 
Someone crushed that tiny lotus. How did she get this far? How did the woman? Just kill her so we can deal with the real problems. These Roman malakas. My blade is offended. Shoot her! Stop it now! Name, did you kill my captain? Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No, wait till I see the signal. I can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. Dice cast! <laughs> Come! We go to the battlefield! Medjai! Cover the retreat! Many men have doubted Aya. All have found themselves dead by her blade. Focus on driving. I will keep these fools at bay. Odd way to speak of your countrymen. Any who would give up on our people is no countryman of mine. To the back! Behind back! Here's a 
surrounded! I am working on it! Work more quickly! Behind us! The chariot gates! I hear more gaining on us! I'm shooting as fast as I can, Roman! That is not good. What is it? Hope we don't find out, Caesar. Faster! Perhaps we cannot run it. Do not face it. Ready yourself, Caesar. This is worse than any battle you've yet had. It can't be that bad! It is Osiris himself. The arrows are only making him angrier. Hold the chariot steady! My focus is on not being trampled, Egyptian! I have an idea! Just get rid of the damn thing! The lighthouse approaches quickly! We'll run out of land soon! Grow harder! Have to throw! Any time, Bayek! There will be songs of us, Bayek! Now, we must join the ships! We will be heroes! Sword and mine! Stadia. According to our speculators, Potinus leads the charge. Keep the soldiers distracted, Caesar. I will handle Potinus at Victorium!
all in that insane order comes to an end, Potinus. Face your judgment. They went too far in Siwa. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. Your peace leaves many wanting. This is inevitable. A good rule always does. My apologies, Bayek of Siwa. My fee is covered, it seems. Now may I go to my glory. There is no glory left in Egypt. The damned eunuch is no more. Good. The speculatores found Septimius. He is in the village beyond. I will distract his men while you capture him. We must know what he plans. You would think your spies would already know. They have their limits. But they claim Aya has the scent of that puppet king. So they also have their uses. Then Ptolemy is already caught. I will finish the rest. Ah, the fool finally comes. You will see your gods soon. I am you see one. Finally fight. Are you ready for your end? Prepare to face judgment, Septimius. You will find yourself in the Duat soon. out and feed it to the crocodile Septimius! Give up now! I will claim you die a hero and not a traitor! Seize your faceless attempt to fight! Stay down! Judgment, Septimius! We will deal with him under our laws. He killed my son!
Everything for which we have worked for so long is now ours. We have defeated our enemies. Only I can lead Egypt into a new era of prosperity. Done with Septimius Mount. We are banned from the palace. No, I do not begrudge the venom in your eyes, but listen for a moment. Speak quickly, or you will find yourself at the wrong end of my blade. Your services are no longer needed. Cleopatra has granted you gold. I am sorry, Aya. Sorry? We gave her everything. We gave her that damn clown, and she stands next to him. And where is justice for us? Septimius was supposed to be judged by Rome. Is Caesar protecting the order? There are compromises to make a queen of Cleopatra. The man who killed our son is your ally. We are going to do whatever it takes to kill him. You realize? No, Caesar blames you for the death of Ptolemy. A pharaoh, a god, by a... I cannot change this. Be damned what Caesar thinks. It is with Cleopatra that I made the pact. Give me time, Aya. I will ease this for us. Until then, I beg you, be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Ah! Traitor! With all my words, I have nothing to say now. Cleopatra has been poisoned by Rome, and we by her treachery. We will burn with Egypt. The order is stronger now. They have Rome. I will deal with this. Hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I am responsible. When my boy died, I fought back with rage and anger. But this only made them stronger. We are all different, but we fought together to put Cleopatra on the throne. Now, this was a mistake, my friends, but at least it brought us together. Now our enemies are hidden behind crowns, walking in the shadows of kings and queens. Who are the ones that walk in the shadows for the people? We are. Something has come of all of this, and it starts right now. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope, and our kingdom needs no crowns. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father I was not that day in Siwa. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood! You were right. I trusted the wrong goddess. 
There's a question that yet lingers. Septimius. He took Alexander's staff. Why? Indeed. He and Flavius had too much interest in Alexander's tomb. We start there. I will destroy Cleopatra for what she has done. We must focus on the issue at hand. What is left, Bayek? Tell me one thing left for us. Siwa. The rest of our land. We cannot stop now, Aya. We have yet to find Hemu's killer. Yes. We will not falter oh. there. Guards, ahead! Another pile of bodies will prove our point. Yes. We will not falter there. <gasps> it has been too long since we were together for longer than a few days. Has it? It seems but moments. Aya, it is not easy, this path we walk. Only if you look at it as days and not goals, Bayek. Come, we must hurry. There are guards here. There's something amiss with all this. Something foul. These are all Romans. Caesar's men. Apollodorus! We must be quickly. You shouldn't have come here. At least we belong here. Finally. Someone will get Flavius was behind the door. I, I'm sorry. Flavius killed your son. They were here. They took the orb from me. They've gone to Siwa. Siwa? Bayek, I am. Your people are in danger? House of Hades. Completely silent. The animals, too. Ah, uh, some sort of plague has hit the village. That viper Flavius did this. We should have ripped out his entrails long before now. Let us get to the vault. Whoa. Roman soldiers. Must be Flavius' is men.
was Flavius all along. He brought Caesar and the Romans here, hoping to take complete power. We trusted him. We were fools. What in the name of Hades are we protecting here? Gold? Gemstones? The milk of Aphrodite herself? Careful not to be seen. Bayek, there is trouble ahead. themselves. Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. It is Hepsifer. My Sammy. Your life is done here in the desert dust. Took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here! He deserves a proper farewell. Go ahead, Bayek. I am with you. Epsifer knew nothing of the Order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Flavius ripped out his heart as a message to me. It was he who killed Chemu. My husband. We will end this. Let's go. Bayek. What happened? It was horrible. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. Hepzibah so tried to stop them, but they rendered me helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like stones. They have destroyed Siwa. We must die. You must put an end to this. Bayek, Aya. 
You have the prayers of the entire village to support you. Let us bring Hepzibah to his rest. Then, we will seek justice. Let the embalmers come. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Hepzibah, old friend. Oh, Bayak. Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. I've come to... Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. Flavius will not escape me again. Levius will not stop until he reaches Rome. I just don't give a neck anymore. Nothing will stop me. 
I cannot stop till Flavius' heart is in my fist. land of pastures and fields, trampled on by Roman occupation. This must be the farm I have spoke of. Someone must have seen the lion pass through. I am sorry. It is just... he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen this before. In Siwa. I'm looking for the soul eater responsible. Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid godshit murdered my son, raised my village, and now marches through your land with the light of Amunra. Come. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakusiwa. Praxila, of this land gone mad. Why would Flavius do this? They are just poor Siwan farmers. They stood in his path. There are still soldiers here. Then we must be careful. happened here? Red cloaks and that milk soup with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son Kade, everyone. Then he came. Dark eyes hooted as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. Something golden, bright in his claws. Held it up, crowing as they fell before him. Some by their own hands, others by full tears to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you... No one sees poor it, an old woman's husk with clouded eyes. But I saw them, didn't cry out, bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men who did this, we will find them. Bitter hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the Huntress, overheard Red Cloak squawking. Bring Kade back to me. 
I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. Will you follow Flavius? I must. For your son? For every son. You must miss him very much. All my waking and sleeping hours. You will see him again in the field of reeds. I hope so. Nenet spoke of the home with the Huntress. Yes, Cyrene, the shining porticos of Roman conquest. It is north of here. If Flavius is there, I will find him and destroy every fiber of his car. When you arrive in Cyrene, look for my friend Diocles. I would trust him with my life and yours. As a magistrate, he hears petitioners in the Agora. Give him this. I hope this heals the madness in this land. I pray you get the justice you seek, Bayek. Why would they take Nenet's son, Kade? The citadel casts a long shadow over Cyrenaica. There are rumors that General Agrippa and Flavius are preparing for war. Against Egypt? Do you doubt their ambition? No. They won't stop until I stop them. I will bring Nenet to my clinic in Balagrey, south of the temple of Asclepius. Though that place has troubles enough. I will find you if I can. Pissing off the foreman. Last thing we need is to get shipped off to the aqueduct. Place is in the bowels of Haiti. My son cousin Hoy yesterday. He said the Romans will start making examples of people soon. Cut a few throats. <sighs> in the <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if we made the right decision coming here. Fayum was not so bad. The foreman sent a guard to check on us? We were not complaining. We were working hard. I am not a guard. I am a Medjai from Siwa. Does he treat you badly? The work here looks backbreaking. No. Compared to the Siwans up at the aqueduct, we are revered like pharaohs. I would not go that far. Are there problems at the aqueduct? Some snooty engineer, Vitruvius. He is working our countrymen to death. And now the Roman army is involved, which is never good. I will see what is going on, Seni. Maybe the lash will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain, or we'll never find my diopter. General Agrippa will hear of this. A Roman, standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. 
tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. Now scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? Your people? They are my people. I'm keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The General's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this... Dioptra. With it, this elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Talk to Dady up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. <laughs> Are you daddy? Oh, hey, this fiery coach. I, I, I did not take it. Please, do not kill me. Daddy, wait. Calm down. I won't hurt you. Just tell me where the Dioptra is. It was lunchtime, and my wife bought me a fresh roasted chicken leg for lunch. Which was nice, as it has been an eon since I had... Sounds delicious, but get to the part about the master's tool. Your lunch won't solve this crime. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I left the Dioptra in the cave, and when I came back it was gone. Scobbled away by wolves, spirits, or worse. What does this Dioptra look like? Like a brazier, made of three parts. A bit you see through, a bit you measure with. I will find it. Just try not to die of fright before then. Bandit den. But at least we know it was not spirits that stole the tool. like a piece of the Dioptra.
Missing surveying tool. This messenger was tortured by the bandits. Touching letter. Abdi and Nerope. Lovers torn apart by oppression. Reminds me of I and myself. Poor oh, Hapti. I should look into this. He could be in trouble. He should be easy to find with a tattoo. piece of the tool. I should return to Vitruvius before the Romans make an example of Dedi.
Oh. You have it? You have my Dioptra? I found it in a bandit camp above the aqueduct. Really? Some of my workers complained of hearing whispers from there, believed it was haunted. I was sure it was just superstitious nonsense. I dealt with it. Nothing will haunt you now, living or dead. Excellent. And now General Agrippa has no more reason to bully my workers. He's become more ambitious since Flavius returned from Siwa, and it is not a welcome change. Thank you, Bayek. You saved my... our people's lives. I am in your debt. Fortuna smile on you, Vitruvius. Your work will help a lot of people in Cyrenica. Resiste! Confute! Bye-bye. 
to rot. That is the tattoo of Ankh. Ah, poor Hapti. There is no bracelet on him. His lover has no idea he is dead. Ah, this sickens me. I must put to rest his car and return the bracelet. Hapti's wife will want this as a keepsake. His beloved. I know why you're here, Magi. He's dead, isn't he, Hapti? I am sorry. There was a rebellion at the quarry. He. No, I don't want to know. He was always so hot headed. How could he leave us this way? I found his bracelet. He meant for you to have it. What good is a bracelet? My child will grow up without a father. Thank you for telling me. You are a good man. But please, leave me alone to my grief. I'm just another woman the Romans have made a widow. This is the war no one speaks of. of limits.
honor him, Flavius, the leader, and liberate the lion. What makes you? Are you Kade? Your mother sent me to find you. Why, Issa? Is that you, Bayek of Siwa? Let me out and I'll help you kill those Roman vultures. If you see anything, anything at all. Shows up. I'll run this up a darn place. <laughs> the bomb you came from. I saw what Flavius did. How he sucked the life from our people. My mother, Nenet. Is she all right? Yes. Praxila took her to Balagre. Thank you, Bayek. You protect us even this far from the land of our ancestors. Why did the Romans bring you here? To feed their hunger for war and conquest. They have Ballista. We load it with a substance of hideous, burning devastation. Vitruvios, a Roman engineer up at the aqueduct, invented it. Vitruvios? I know this man. I cannot believe he would make something like this. We are free of those Roman tyrants. to speak what's the fuss my friend I believed you when you said you cared for the sea ones here and all the while they are more at the Citadel forced to work on a weapon you created it is not what you think walk with me and we'll get to the bottom of this Please understand, Bayek, I was not always so focused on architectural wonders such as this aqueduct. As a hot-headed youth, I came up with many means of death and destruction. One of those was a Greek fire of sorts. Greek fire? A substance with such potential for unspeakable suffering, I vowed never to produce it. Well, the general is producing it. And forcing C wants to arm his ballista for a war against their own country. my notes. General Agrippa must have found them. Then Agrippa must be stopped. Do what your conscience dictates, Bayek. But understand, I cannot be part of a plot against a Roman general, no matter how I may feel personally. Recover the formula and I will destroy it. I will not have the immolation of Egypt on my conscience. Jove protect you, Bayek.
Guards here are vigilant.
Monsters and demons will die, General. I use the formula. I should destroy the Greek fire stockpiles.
Vitruvius will want to know his formula is in safer hands. Party of Siwa. Her and Hemu would hunt together in the scrubland. Did you find it? Did you find my formula? Egypt will not burn today. Or any day, I hope. And General Agrippa? He did not give it up willingly. Uh, he was a good Roman. But he never understood. That doesn't mean you cannot be a good man. Flavius fed Agrippa's pride and ambition with talk of empires. I fear the path his supporters have taken will end in many deaths. It will end with their own. But you are a good man, Vitruvius. I've seen that in your words and deeds. I am trying to be. Thank you again, Bayek of Siwa. You are a true protector of your people. <laughs>
Walk, walk into the flames. Flavios will burn away your kind. This is the crucifixion site. A bad must be here somewhere. Be thankful Brutus Severus hasn't taken you back to the fort for his amusement. Tell Severus from me. He's the Legion's best cocksucker. All the guards say so. We will not bow before you. Naked ear deaths. Not in Egypt and not in Serenaca. You'll scream when we hammer the nails in. They all do. Death before defeat! The fight will desert you after two days on the cross. You'll be begging us to kill you. Apathy. If your people don't end their rampage, we'll decimate them. For each of us you kill, there will be a hero in the duat. Vox Populi, my arse. You're just a few C1 troublemakers. This is what happens to filthy rats who betray the Republic. Murder. I don't care. But you stand no chance against Egypt. Stealing Silphium is a serious crime, punishable by death. Sylphian should help the people, not fat patricians in Rome. I should cut your tongue out! That will keep you quiet! Be thankful Brutus Severus hasn't taken you back to the fort for his amusement. Tell Severus from me. He's the Legion's best cocksucker. All the guards say so. We will not bow before you, naked ear deaths. Not in Egypt and not in Serenaca. You'll scream when we hammer the nails in. Death before defeat! The fight will desert you after two days on the cross. Can that be you? I am saved by my childhood hero. Incredible. It has been so long. Let's get free of this barbaric place fast. Those naked ear deaths will send reinforcements. We shouldn't linger here, Bayek. <laughs> oh. Feared it was you, Abate. I could not stand by as the Roman contagion spread. You heard what they did in Siwa, Bayek. I saw it. You attacked the fort. Yes. The captain of the prisoners' camp, Severos, is a psychotic butcher. Every day finding new, sick ways to inflict suffering on our people. Then at night he goes who knows where to plot and plan. While Severos lives, the rebellion is nothing but sound and fury. It was your strength and spirit that Hemu loved the most. My days were filled with freedom then. Your boy and I hunted, laughed, lived. That is all I want for my children. Then I will kill the torturer, Apate. Look him in the eyes and make him understand that he's a shit eater. I will gather my friends. If you attack the outpost, we'll join you. Ha <laughs> ha 
This is heavily guarded. Legion is losing its greatest Negatia debt, Severus. <laughs> this place, this shrine, it prickles with divine power. The Oracle is drawing me to her. I can feel it. Uh, I have felt your presence in my vision, Eagle. Apollo spoke of you. The king cried when he killed the White Heart, for it was the huntress bewitched, pale and beautiful, with a halo of gold. Apollo bade Gaia cradle the king's sorrow, a lake of tears high above the plains. The sun god drove his fist into the mountain, took his beloved inside, and spake, None shall seek you, none but the eagle. He will soar above the five cities with the halo of the Huntress in his beak. Why do you call me Eagle? Yours is the sacred relic, Eagle. Find it and expand your riches. The Lake of Tears high in the mountains. A 
Apollo means me to find this halo of the Huntress. of tears. What was the next part? The sun god drove his fist into the mountain. Stop. Uh, best not to draw attention here. soon! <laughs> Huntress, Cyrene herself. A crown. This must be the halo from the prophecy. I thank Apollo for this sacred gift. The legend of Cyrene and Apollo. The legend of Cyrene and Apollo. Apollo fell in love with her. The girl lion killer. She sounds strong and brave.
should not be seen in this area. Hey, witch!
Bayek, you look well, but weary. How is our brave widow? Good, as you can see. Small victories and joys like these, we take them where we can. Bayek, Flavius was here. But that is not the worst of it. Mothers and wives of the temple are sick and wailing in the streets. They're pleased to see their loved ones unanswered. Since Flavius came, it cannot be a coincidence. No. Can you speak to my friend Krios? He is a water-bearer at the temple. My task is the priestess Melita. She is overzealous, but I cannot believe she would prey on the sick and dying. Be wary, eh? I will return here when I have spoken to Krios.
should not be seen in this area. Ultimo corte! Cacciate! Resiste! Confute! Flavius done to you. Oh no, no. <laughs> Wake up! Where is Flavius? Where is he? Fly away home, crow! Another life spat on by that Roman shit eater. Whispers! Whispers! What is that? Melita, the viper of the staff. The priestess? No! No, my lord Flavius! Please! Braxilla! Braxilla! Stop your screeching! The sick need their rest. Braxilla! <laughs> all right, all right. Just keep your voice down. She left to speak to the priestess. No! The priestess! A ah, snake in the apple! She has them. She keeps them hidden. Lies in whispers, secrets, shrouded. Her shrine of whispers! Is this poor witless thing you're doing? Did Praxilla tell you where she was going? The mountains, but... Look to this man. He needs help. I will find the shrine of whispers.
place is heavily guarded. Secret in the mountains. I pray Praxila and the others are all right. She was a healer. She makes me ashamed. The priestess! She was torturing these people! She was a... She was a healer. She makes me ashamed. I would burn this place to ashes if I could. There is terrible evil here, Bayek. I am terrified for the fate of my Cyrenaica. Melita was mad. That relic, the one that Flavius used at the farm, he used it here. When I found Krios, I knew. I could feel it clawing, digging in my mind. That is what it does, insidious like a parasite. Control men's minds and make us slaves. Our fates are our own, Praxila. We will always fight for that. Melita could not be saved. After what she did, I would have slit her throat myself. Thank you. For me... For Balagre, it is more than I would have asked. And that is why I give it freely, while freedom still means something. Don't you ever get sick of saying so many goodbyes? Part of me, yes. But it is part of the journey, and on it, I find those who give me hope. Your land will not die, Praxila. You are its healer, its protector, its Medjai. Now is our time to emerge from the madness, Bayek of Siwa.
moment for a poor old sort? What is this madness, old man? Your eyes have been ravaged. Yes, a manticore devoured them. A mythical beast stole your sight. With the face of a human and the body of a lion. That is one ferocious lion. Quick, before she returns. Take me to my friend Theramenes at the clinic. He will know what to do. Madness is your bedfellow. But I cannot leave you here to be eaten by beasts. I only went berry picking. There are many wild animals about. Do you not have a bow? A bow against a manticore? My bow has killed a thousand beasts. Ah, oh, are you the griffin spiriting me off? Be still, Galenos. It is me, Bayek, your savior. <laughs> Be still, Galenos. It is me. Be still, Galenos. It is me, Bayek, your savior. Are we near, near the clinic, Bayek? I hope so. I'm so happy you are safe, mother. And we smiled upon us, my son. He sent us the nature so that he could be with us. Are you the healer Theramenes? Yes, yes, is that Galenos? By the fates, what happened to him? I found him by the road, crying that the manticore took his eyes. And his wits along with them. I have honey and euphrasia, but the temple purloined my more exotic supplies. I've brought him this far, so what do you need? You'll help? Wonder of wonders, I will give you a list. Ah, let's see what Theramenes can do with this. Hey, this machine! How is our patient? A babbling fool. We'll get no sense from him till I can relieve his pain. Silphium extract will do it. That Roman weed? Silphium is our weed, and because of the Romans, it's almost extinct. They process it at the depot north of here. Which is heavily guarded, I bet. Should be no problem for one as resourceful as you. <laughs> My most sincere apologies, Thanasis. Silence! I think... Oh. Uh, best not to draw attention here.
Turn this one to cure to the Ramadez. You are a marvel. I will bring our friend back to his senses. Not that he had that many to begin with. If I stumble across a manticore stalking the woods of Balagre, I will bring you its head. Now that I would welcome, my boy. They say that its venomous sting will paralyze a man instantly. I could have some use for that. Medicinally speaking, of course. <laughs> of course. Farewell, Faramines. Farewell, Bayak. And watch out for Manticores. Vigilant.
I will not betray the Black Land, despots. I am an Egyptian like yourself, Magi. For the safety of Egypt, please, we must escape. My thanks. You have done me a good time. Uh... Who sent you? Apollodorus? I would not have betrayed Egypt. You serve Apollodorus? I am part of his divine manipulation of the threads. A viper in the long grass of Cyrenaica. We are compromised. I know not how or by who, but that is how the Centurion found me. He has a list of spies. Ah, not all men will stand up to torture as well as you. Find the Roman. See what information he has. He patrols the border towers. For Egypt. For a free Egypt! They are Roman. The Roman presence here is zealous and oppressive. Stand up, give me the lore! 
a spy, Hadi, at the East Roman fort. I should rescue him.
Oh, Gloria, protect our Egypt, please. We are in great danger. Oh, Hey! 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 How you knew, but for the future of Egypt, we must flee. How did you find me, Major? Did the spy master send you? The Centurion's list led me here. Have the list? The names of the shrouded ones in Cyrenaica? Yes. You and another of Apollodorus agents survived. I freed him from the barracks in Balagre. You have done Egypt and Apollodorus a great service, Magi. Amun Ra reward.
Attack on site here.
Better be careful. This war making warriors probably won't come back. We'll soon be spilling some blood, brother. Let's take a look. Hey, I got this feeling. Alarm! Please, hurry! Mine now. The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. A 
hidden entrance. How long has this been here? Be our way forward. Transmission, segment six, acquiring contemporary. It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Not from a dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, 
both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrow of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shilly Mrs. East, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Atlas was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your Animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted. Problem? You could say that. My champion, the Thracian bear, escaped. He's a trained killer. Mad as a hyena on heat. There's a bounty on him. 
Good money if you survive. Why do they call him the bear? It's not so fast, Egyptian. I will only hire you if you show me you are capable of ripping the bear apart. Let us see how you fare against some of my best fighters. Live, and we will talk. Holy Mestor's a deadly son of a bitch. Fought in arenas all across the Republic. He won me a fortune. In return, I treated him like a king. The best food, the best horse. <laughs> Perhaps he valued freedom more. I earned my freedom through sweat and blood in the arena. Not fleeing like a coward. Look, I don't care if that pox-ridden Canus lives or dies. But he stole my sword. Caesar gave me that in my final fight, and I want it back. Julius Caesar. You know another Caesar? All right, lads. Come show this Egyptian some Roman courtesies. <laughs> was a show. You are a warrior. Have I proven myself? Yeah, all right, don't get cocky. Rumor has reached me a farm east of Cyrene was attacked. Start there. That Thracian dog shagger won't come quietly. But the rewards for the weapon, you understand? I will find your champion and your trophy. <laughs> Such confidence. I like it. I might even shed a tear, if he guts you. should be cautious around here. Segundos! Aqui tem o de que um pueblo! Não tem arte! What happened here? I must find Polymestor. Speared, then tortured. For what? Information? Swords. Unless the lions came armed, they did not kill these people. They shot him in the back. Was he trying to escape or hide? Swords, spears, arrows. This was not one man. It was a massacre. Thank you. 
There is something beneath this. A hidden cellar. Mesto did not kill these people. They helped him. Maybe he reached the fishing village. I'm looking for a gladiator, the Thracian bear. Another of the Lanista's cronies. How much did he pay you to slit my throat? He only wants his sword. Yes, covered in my guts. How did you find me? The farmers? I am sorry, Polymaster. Your friends are dead. This is the Lanista's doing! I gave him my life, and now I will take his! I threw the sword in the sea. Take it! It has brought me nothing but bad luck. Egyptian clown! Ah! I knew he would lead me straight to you! Let us end this! I will run no more, Lanista! Ah! Shut up, you metrocoites! For thrice and true freedom! to make Sharon weep. Thank you. Uh... Bayek. Bayek. That bastard had no code. I earned my life back a thousandfold, but I made two oin for him. In the arena and the rich Roman beds. Keep Caesar's sword. It belongs to one who stands for freedom and honor. Thanks. I will stain it with the proper blood. The deserving blood. What will you do? 
Fish, mend my nets, and find a good, plump woman to settle down with. I will make the most of this new life. I will return it later. Ego men kalion, ego apien ames. Love a generous soul. The Kalyan has given him a creator of his own, and on a reason to not drop him on all the people.
Hey, Egyptian, come see. My hearts are in Aiken horses are the best in the world. They are. Which is why that cursed Roman quartermaster stole my prized stallion, Hermes. Hermes wasn't only my fastest horse, but my best breeder. The mares miss him. I miss him. I'll pay you. You want me to rescue a horse? I love him like a brother. Actually, my brother's a donkey's ass. I love him more than my brother. That drunken thief quartermaster is probably already at the Archile Pantochion by now. It's on the road to Alexandria. Could you find Hermes and bring him home to me? Quartermaster. All right, Alice. All right, Alice. Ah, there's a good boy. So what's so special about you, Hamis? The way your master talked about you, I half expected you to fly, eh? Huh? <laughs> uh... Ah, that's it, boy! You do feel more powerful than other horses I've ridden. Strong and lithe! My boy, you really found him. Here you are, boy. Back with your master. Hermes, you'll get the best hay and my best bear tonight, old friend. 
Quartermaster gave him to the Centurion up at the East Fort. He won't come looking for him. Those forts... ...they steal everything from us. Ah, well... ...we will breed a strong line of champions from you, won't we, boy? Here is your award, friend. And well earned. Save my boy. He's not a criminal. Well, thank you for stopping. My husband was a protector like you. I have screamed myself hoarse for days. No one cares. What seems to be the problem, Nebet? My Titus. My poor Titus. Imprisoned at the barracks for trying to leave the army. He's a deserter. No, a hero. He'd had enough, stood up against the Roman army, and joined the rebels. Please, he's my only child, and all I have left. I will look into it. Do not worry. <laughs>
Facide iudicium puere, secundus! This place is heavily guarded. Titus, your mother sent me. Yes, by the gods, thank you, Protector. But Egypt is in danger. I must get free. They will kill me if they find me. Why would the army lock up their own men? Papo taught me to be a fighter. But he believed in honor and justice. The Navak of the Roman fleet at Apollonia Marcella Sassina is planning an invasion. Ah, they mean to take Egypt. Yes, so I deserted. I will not stay here doing Leander of Flavius' dirty work. Where is the Navak? On his ship. He patrols the waters between Cyrene and Apollonia. Killing him will throw the fleet into chaos. Go with his head, Titus. I will deal with the Navak. Huh? <laughs> Ego, stand up! Give me the law!
to draw attention. That was the greatest thing I ever witnessed, and I once saw a snake swallow a cat whole. A cat? Really? And who are you? Essio, please. But all my friends call me Essio. Well, Essio, I am Bayek. How did you do that? Are you magic? Will you leave some more for me and my friends? I can tell you about my home, the most amazing city of Cyrene as we go. How can I refuse such a gracious offer? Lead the way, Essio. My gang will give you the grand tour, Bayek. You have a gang? Yes. I'm the most important child in Cyrene. I can see that, Essio. Let's go to the baths. It's where people walk around naked, being scraped and scratched and rubbed with oils. I hate getting my hair wet. Don't you, Bayek? That is why I shaved it off, Essio. 
And washing behind the ears, I bet. <laughs> yes. Some fancy Roman from the Citadel built it. Vive Well, anyway, he spent 10,000 drachma on a floor made of little squares. All of that for some way you wash. When I grow up, I'm going to have a wife who'll never make me wash. Wives like that are hard to find, Desio. Could you jump from up there? Sure, Ezio. I could do that with my eyes closed. Come on, everyone. Come see Bayek fly. No one can climb that high, can they? See? Didn't I tell you he was brave? Oh, my days. What if he falls? He's thicker than a lizard on a rock. Some of those scaredy cats thought you'd miss the car. I seen the light. But I never doubted it's you. It's impossible. I right? wasn't sure myself, Ezio. He swoops through the air so like an next? eagle. You're Egyptian, right? My father says you don't worship the same gods as we Greeks. We have some in common. Like Serapis. Oh, oh yes, we... Serapis. Ah. I've heard of him. Apollo is all Greek and my favorite. He likes poetry, music, wine, and all that kind of stuff. <gasps> but I like him because he has a bow and arrow and he likes to hunt. Do you like to hunt, Bayek? I do. I used to hunt with my boy, Esri. Ah. If you jump from his temple there, then maybe he'll be watching from Mount Olympus and reward me with my own bow and arrow so I can hunt rabbits in the woods. I would like to see that. This is it. Isn't the polo marvelous? Papa, This is van pedes. Lexo, Lexo. We're all watching. I can't watch. Tell me when it's over. He's so brave. Have you ever seen someone so brave? That depends. You think I can do it? I believe you can do oh. anything, Bayek. I'm oh. glad we joined Essio's gang. This is unbelievable. Wait till I tell my this sister about today. She used to play with me. Well, you did promise a challenge, Essio. Nobody's allowed up there except the Romans. But you look like you can handle a few measly bucket heads. Are you ready, Bayek? I present the Acropolis. Don't let the Romans see you! Here, a mother of gods! It's too high! Go on, jump for it! Jump from the top of the tower! This area is off limits. I will treasure it. Goodbye, Essio. Stay out of trouble. I can't promise, but I will try for you, Great Flea. I hope you get to hunt with your son again soon. So do I, Essio. <laughs> Please. Are you a protector? I am not a Philakitai. I am a Medjai. Oh, yes, of course. I should have noticed. These people don't understand 
Our Roman friends do not take kindly to civil disobedience. Why are they protesting? They fear all is not well with our founder, the great Patos. The centurion locked his tomb. Some say he desecrated the dead in there, left a scrawled note on the door and sauntered back to the Acropolis. Please, someone should investigate without alerting the Romans. And if that someone were to find anything, they could meet me here and I'd be happy to help. Tyrion, a man in The Greeks also treat their dead with great honor. And now, they suffer like Egyptians. And stupid is a troublesome combination. The tomb's been ransacked. The Romans were looking for something. Have the Romans no respect for the dead? must have been buried with these treasures. The bow and medallion are gone. The Romans are little more than tomb robbers. The Greeks are learning what it feels like to be Egyptian. Have your land, your dead, and your relics desecrated by an invading force. I should be cautious around here. No, 
the bow of battle. Vatos Medallion. The priest will be glad to see the relics returned. The suspicions were well founded. The Romans took Bato's treasure. You have the relics? I do. They were not given the respect they were due. Those filthy desecrators. I will keep Bato's medallion safe. 
Legend says if it leaves the city, so will our fortunes. And Dibo? It longs to be in the service of Sarineika again. Please, keep it. And maybe teach the Romans a lesson in honoring the dead. Huh. Gladly. The Founder sent you to us. Farewell, Magi. Even when your kind appears to triumph, still shall we rise again. The order of ancient. Get many Egyptians in Cyrene. You'll get no judgment from the mouse, but you did stick out. The mouse? Not title, my friend. Yes, yes, I am the mouse, because I can access the more hard-to-find trinkets. If you follow me to my shop, I'll show you. Our bows, blades, scepters, you won't be disappointed. The mouse guarantees it. Sir... Bayek. All right. Let's see what you have, mouse. Don't you have trouble with the Romans? Well, you know what they say about our Latin friends? The Greeks invented the threesome, and the Romans added women. <laughs> no. Besides, I know how to stay hidden, Sir Bayek. With the way I look, I have to. People think the mouse is unlucky. They don't see I am an entrepreneur and savior of the waves and strays. Waves and strays? The ch Swine must have taken my chest to the barracks. Please, will you recover it? And why would I do that? Because you know what it's like to be brushed aside, victimized by those who hold themselves above you. The mouse will die on the streets with no living to support him. And what of the children? Will no one think of the children? And I could probably spare a fine reward for my savior. I would not want the children on my conscience. God bless you, Sir Bayek. I will wait for you in the market behind the paths. Good luck, my friend. Oh.
aus ist das? Did you find my chest yet? Ah, Bayek! Did you find my chest? You have saved my life for a second time, Sir Bayek. I am blessed. Blessed by the gods who brought you to me on this, the greatest of days. The mouse will embrace you. ...as a sign of my undying gratitude. Ah, uh, please don't. Then, money, I will shower you with creatures to make Chris's jealous. Take care of yourself, Mouse. Try not to get caught in any more traps, eh? Ah, such grace, such wit. You deserve more than mere money. Come see me again later. I will find you something special from my stash. Dark skin, light step, brooding. You must be the C1 Felix raved about. It takes a lot to impress that one. You must be good. But let's not do awkward introductions. I prefer to get straight to business. And your reputation precedes you. If you've come to bleed for gain and glory, Siren welcomes you with open arms. Even when your kind appears to triumph, still shall we rise again. The order of angels. Mouse? They are going to kill me! Shut up! You're convicted of murder! They have the wrong man! I'm as innocent as a babe! Ah, 
trap has the mouse fallen into now. Hold on, mouse. Thank you, Sir Bayek. Get me out of this bloody cage! I'm hurt! They accuse me of murder! Me! I value life above all! Of course you do. Don't worry. You are safe now. Thank you, Sir Bayek. There is a real murderer out there. He's killing my friends. Slow down and tell me what happened, Mouse. I was at the bathhouse, meeting some associates, and suddenly, a legion accosted me. Didn't you plead your innocence? They wouldn't listen. They accused me of killing Paulus Aurelius, the moneylender, gathered like a pig. Red hair in his fist, not my hair. I met with him, yes. But when I left the baths, he was very much alive, drinking and whoring as usual. I am many things, but not a killer. It is all right, Mouse. I believe you. But the Romans will not believe a cripple and an Egyptian. Have faith. Stay low and wait for me at the gardens of the Temple of Zeus. There may still be clues to the real killer at the bathhouse. I know Smintos is not the murderer, but I must discover who is. The Romans have closed off the baths. I should look for another way in. Murdered. The body has been moved. I need to find it. This trigel has blood on it. Could be the murder weapon. A pin from a dress. Could the murderer be a woman? A scattering of beads. Someone broke their necklace. Did Paulus Aurelia struggle with a woman? Red hair, but it is horse hair. Maybe from a wig. That is why Smintos was falsely accused. of death and something else perfume what will you tell me Paulus Aurelius 
Something is stuffed down his throat. A knot. Hmm. I will cleanse Cyrene of the hedonists. My next tragedy will strike down Cyrene's greatest actor, Metrobius. And it is signed... Vesta. 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 What is your problem with pleasure seekers? I need to find this actor before this murderer strikes again. Thanos would be appalled if an actor were to die. Why is Vesta targeting these men? Would she be a prostitute killing off her clients? Lion before I can confirm my suspicions, but I think that is Vesta's second victim. Yes, the Egyptian has no fear. He will save you, Metrobius. Metrobius is dead, you fool. But at least we stand a fighting chance. Our play will never see the light of day. My first big part, and it's ruined. Ruined. Metrobius, the murderer's second victim. There's not much left of him. Another note. Metrobius took his final bow. Only the horror remains, and he will die at the wolf's den. This Vesta has a flair for the dramatic. The horror's wolf's den must be the local brothel. My instincts were right. Vesta's a prostitute, but she's looking for her father. I only hope I find him before she does. Must be the horror. Father, you die. You will be quiet now, mother. By the gods, this Vesta is insane. That's it, mother. It's all finished. And I will join you and father soon. This is a I cannot stop. And I will not live without her. Why did you kill them all? I have tasted darkness too, but.
Esther was not a prostitute, but the forgotten son of one. I hope the Duat figures you out. I should return to Smintos. Find the killer. Yes. The son of a prostitute. When his mother died, terrible grief overtook him. He believed a car would not let him rest until he found his father. He's dead? I am sorry, Mouse. He could not be reasoned with. I have his letters. The story they tell is a tragic one. Poor boy. Such sadness. What will you do? Won't the Romans be searching for you? I have a plan. A new life in Apollonia, where you can taste the sea, it is so close. Find me there if you can, Sir Bayek. Good luck, Mouse. back from Balagre with a crook up his arse. Demanded my taxes for the year. They burned my farm when I refused. And you are sure it was Leander's men? My wife said no good would come of defying him. I hate it when she's right. Leander will pay. You have my word. Your word, Diocles? Will that sow my scorched fields? Bring my goats back to life? I am done with you. End this land. Your word. <laughs> And how has our most venerated magistrate extorted you, Egyptian? Praxila said you could help me. I am Bayek. Is he all right? As well as anyone can be with Flavius desecrating your land. I followed that fucker's murderous trail all the way from Siwa. So the rumors? True. As are his preparations for war. One more oppressor. Egypt will never be stable again. Invasions upon invasions. Flavius will make of Egypt one giant tomb. He rules from the Acropolis, but is crawling with Romans. I pray the dice fall in your favor, Bayek. I must deal with this lapdog. The Magistrate Leander. Seek me out again, if you would be a friend to Cyrene. Thank you, Diocles. It is time for my son to enter the field of reeds. I was Praxis. A long one through. It is just order of ancient propaganda. Flavius has turned you into the enemies of freedom.
Prohibe! Prohibe! I can't feel you skulking in the shadows, Bayek of Siwa. I have followed your path of murder and madness all the way from my homeland. And now, you will answer for my son's death, Roman! No, Egyptian. Now you will bow before your god! Murdered my son, my friends. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance? You should have joined the order. You need us, but you are slavery. The man who killed my son. Towering in another temple. Your Magi friend Hepzibah also had a stubborn streak, like your son. like all the others. My power, my potential, can you not feel it? You're nothing but a farmer. Camel herders and shit shovelers. That is all Egypt is. You robbed my son of his afterlife! Girl! Did you not hear, Magi? 
Child Flavius! My child! No, that's the one thing I do not regret in my life. I will never give you peace! Your son's death made the Order vow to me! Caesar, even. I had Rome! It gave me an empire of a thousand sons, each one greater than the last. Ah! Ah! Come on! Finish me! You coward! The waste of time! <laughs> Do it! I can't! I can't do it! It's all right, Papa. No. I will. I will lose you forever. Not forever. I will be waiting for you in the field of reeds. Relic should never be found again. Aya must know our son's car has been put to rest. Bayek, over here. Why so secretive, Mouse? I have shenanigans in mind, my friend. The reward is money for you and an idyllic new life for the Mouse. A farm by the coast where I will raise chickens, goats. But... The man wants a pharaoh's ransom for the deed, Sir Bayek. But Dolos, the spirit of cunning, sent you to help with my foolproof plan. Ah, I'm guessing this plan involves the Romans. And smugglers. So, will you join me on one last adventure, Sir Bayek? Uh, why not? Uh. 
It's surprising what Roman lips will spill if you ply them with enough wine. The snitch told me the smuggler's ship has a code name. Corvum Nigrum, the Black Crow. Before they dock, the crow drops her contraband into the shallows. And the smugglers return later for their loot. Yes. Here, here. How do I let you talk me into it? We'll make a pirate of you yet. Steal the dock manifest from the Romans. It will tell us the Black Crow's route into the harbor. I'll wait for you across the docks. Don't get caught, Sir Bayek. Perhaps the hunters should become the hunted. Ah, here it is. The Black Crow, and notes from the Roman Dogmaster. Sir Bayek, you return unscathed. The manifest says the ship arrived from Alexandria with the first tide. Ah, they'll have dropped their illegal imports at the shipwreck east of Apollonia. However, based on the manifest, the Romans cracked the cord. They will be looking too. I have turned you into a pirate, Sir Bayek. A swindler of the Seven Seas. <laughs> hey, I must admit. This is one of your more enlivening schemes, Mouse. It is good to hear your laugh, my friend. I've arranged to meet the man at the ruins on the coast. Come there with a the plunder. Soon, that joyous land will be mine. Oh! Where in Ondio? Continue us! Treasure will do more good for the mouse than the smugglers. Where is it, Weasel? Where is the smuggler's hoodlum? No. You will not cheat me out of my new life. Give me my fun. <laughs> hey, what? Oh. Hey. 
Come on, you metrocoites! He was just another liar and cheat. Where will you go now? Cyrene was a cruel mistress, Sir Bayek. But it's time to retire. You will miss her? Miss Romans kicking me to the street? Miss people spitting at my poor cursed face? No. You should use this boodle to really buy a farm you wanted, Mouse. Yes, I will. And make wine from my vines and cheese from my goats. Then one day we'll raise a cup to our friendship. Ah, that will be the best of day. Here, your reward. Thank you from the depths of my heart, Bayek. A man's heart is his own god. Goodbye, Smintos. <laughs> Followed up by the Earth Shaker. Ibrati! Anire tete ginona kikum. Epistratikos tibas. I have my hands full with the magistrate Leander. I know he's corrupt, but his ties to Flavius put him above the law. Then let us sever those ties. Easier said than done. He's either threatened or bribed anyone who would stand against him. Simonides could help us if he wasn't such a drunkard. He was at Leander's villa last night and hasn't returned home. I could look for him. Excellent. Then I'll petition the other magistrates. Try the tavern or the brothel southwest of the arena for our wayward friend. We'll meet back at my house. It's the only one with a large terrace on the main street. <laughs> Simonides. Ah, I heard. Why are you shouting? Diocles sent me to find you. Tell him I'm dead. We need your help with Leander. That demon is the one responsible for my befuddled mind and evacuating bowels. I'm sure someone spiked my wine. I'm sorry, but I have to take you with me. Bacchus and his nymphs be buggered. You, sir, are a fury sent to punish me. If I expire on the way, it's on your head. What is your name, torturer? Bayek. Egyptian? Yes. Diocles said you met with Leander last night. A party at his villa. Everything was flowing. Wine, women, boys. Sounds. Iphthos lost his toga. <laughs> Fun. Fun? Who? A, a mission. On a mission. Did you find anything? No. Oh. Simonides? Are you alright? No. Curse you, son of Ra. 
Άλογος πράξης. Άλογος πράξης. Άρτια πίσω. Μόριας παρασκευάσματα του Ιουδανεστή. Here, mother goddess. Simonides, are you drunk? I won't ask where you found him, Bayek. On the street, some fool moved the brothel. Did you find anything at Leander's villa? Papers, records of bribes, treasury theft. His guards caught me before I could take them. I convinced them I was simply inebriated. A stretch, indeed, Simonides. So the evidence is there. I just need to take it. We would be forever in your debt. But why would you risk your life to help us? Because those who abuse their power should be removed, and the people freed from oppression, Egyptian or Greek. Ah, <laughs> well said. Our friend Bayek reminds me of Cicero. Uh... Uh, the villa is east of here, surrounded by vineyards. We will gather the other magistrates at the Temple of Apollo. Find us there when you secure the evidence. Fortuna smile on you, my friend. Bribery, expensive parties, and missing money from the treasury. This is the evidence that Leander is corrupt. But what is this about Diocles? A coup. I should warn Diocles. He could be in danger. Oh! 
Earth's Anthropon, who can pass? How long do we have to wait? Leander said to count to one hundred. Bayek will find the evidence. You, you don't them. know that. No. Leander's secrets you? are his alone. You bloody fools! Will you let that bloody... Diocles! It's a trap! Leander's attempting a coup! So, here you all are. Plotting against them. They will answer to the people there. My Roman friend begs to differ. Fire! We must protect the magistrates! Saved my life, my friend. Praxila would not have forgiven me if I had let you fall at Leander's hand. Why would he do this? Was his lust for power so consuming that he would commit murder? I've seen men do worse for less. We are only alive thanks to you, Bayek. Cyrene deserved better than him at her helm. I know you will lead them well, Diocles. I wonder how Diocles is faring. I'm no oh. actor, Simonides. And I'm no playwright, but in vino veritas, Diocles. Bayak, my friend. We were just talking about you. Ah, should I be worried? No, no. Simonides wants me to play myself in a comedy he's written about Leander. The laudable triumph of the luminaries of Cyrene. Ah, catchy title. He'd be the first to admit it's drivel. But we're hoping a festival will restore some goodwill. To that end, I have one last favor to ask. No acting required. <laughs> Leander's villa should return back to the people. But without the deed, that's impossible. The Romans won't let us search Leander's office at the Acropolis. They will let me. I will find it. This is fun, Pedes! Lexon, Lexon!
Where better to find the deed but hidden quarters? The Villa Papers. The Oakleys will be happy. He can usher in a new era now. The deed is yours, Diocles. The people had lost faith in us magistrates. This will restore a lot of it. You will win hearts and minds, Diocles, with actions. Vitruvius is a friend of yours, yes? A visiting merchant said he saw him on the road near the citadel, and he appeared to be in trouble. That architect is a good man. I've heard his public works have revitalized South Sarineca. I would love to meet him in person. Perhaps we can meet at the Oracle of Apollo. I will check on Vitruvius, that rare Roman dreamer. Vitruvius, Diocles told me you were attacked. On my way to the Citadel, some accursed marauders took my manuscript, my life's work, the architecture. These are dangerous times, but I would not take bandits for scholars. I dread to think what they'll do with it. Certainly not appreciate the function and form of the modern approach to architecture. Then I will get it back before they use it for kindling, or worse.
turn now. Whoa. Time, my god. Saved for posterity. Knowledge in the wrong hands is a sad waste. Praise Jupiter! They were sad to lose it. <laughs> I'm sure they had already started using it to improve their rat trap. Thank you, my friend. I will dedicate a chapter to you. I am honored. Actually, my friend Diocles is very interested in reading it. I said we would meet him at the Oracle Shrine. A capital idea. I have someone I need to see, and I will join you. I should go and see Praxila. Because she should be at this meeting of the great minds of Cyrene. I did not think I would see you again, but I heard Flavius is no more. It was a day I had long wished for. But how has it been in Balagre? The Romans are cooperating more now that Melita is gone. <clears throat> we will see about that. And your friend, Krios? I am teaching him the healing arts. But I sent him out a day ago to the East Hills to gather herbs, and he has not returned. I was just about to go look for him. I will find him if you will go to the Oracle Shrine. There's a friend there that would like to see you. Is it? No, I will not dare to hope. I will join you when I find Krios.
lived me before. I thought you were a dream. You are a friend of Praxilas. You are making a habit of getting into trouble. <laughs> yes! The plan reveals what is in the seed. I will take more care in future. Oh, thank you, Protector. Help! Help! <laughs> Yes, do you please? I understand your argument, but function should not be the only consideration. You have brought us all together, Bayek. Cyrene's triumvirate heralds of a new peace for this outpost of Rome. Each thinks his own horizon is the limit of the world, but through you we have found a greater purpose. And Braxila and I are to be married. Theocles, I have not said yes yet. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. But now a toast. To Bayek and Cyrene. To peace and order. To love and weddings. Vade an pace, Cyreneica. So you will come back to Balagre with me? If that is where you want to build our home. You could do a lot of good there. You already have, dear heart. This blasphemy will not stand. <laughs> Where is the coward that did this? <laughs> there is no way all this blood is from one cat. I still do not know what happened here. I should investigate further. A Roman soldier, dead. Only one wound. He bled out quick. Bloody footprints leading to the north. Neck. The cat was attacked by the Roman soldier. Whoever did this was protecting them. The trail goes to the north. I must follow it. These Egyptians are already looking to fight. I must find whoever did this. Hey, Bo! 
είναι από χαλήν, πολέμου. Πάλασε, ο, τα κέχμενο. See your cat is injured. It is not mine. Cats belong only to Bastet. I am only her instrument. Defending her from Roman's scum. You took the life of a Roman because he killed cats. And now you risk a riot in Alexandria. Bastet swung her fury through my arm. I am her servant. I know a high priestess who would love your... dedication. It would be best for you to serve Bastet at her temple in Bubastis. I have served Bastet my entire life. To serve her better would be an honor. Lead on, brother. We should keep our voices down. We don't need any untoward attention. I know the way. Let us fly. It will get me closer to the goddess faster. <laughs> Roman soldiers, terrified of our tiny little kittens. Is there no end to your speech? Wearers. It is like they think they are soldiers. Roman cat kickers, how would you feel if I kicked your gods? Stay quiet. Go to the temple of Bastet. Only, I beg you not to mention my name to the priestess. I could, Magi. But think of how a return to Alexandria might be served by the great warrior Khalid. I believe this is what the gods want you for. If the gods will it, it will be done. Safe travels, Magi. May Bastet watch over you.
Bayek. It has been too long. Flavius is dead. I have gone to shit to get our son out of the Duat. Chemu is at peace. May he walk in the field of reeds. I head to Rome to... Rome? You still entertain folly with these ambitions? I have made mistakes. You have made mistakes. Aya? You waste your energy. Ah. You are the famous Magi. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. I have assembled a group. This is Brutus and Cassius, our Roman brothers. We're going to cut these bastards down from across the seas. Septimius and Caesar. The order is no longer an Egyptian problem only. Does Cleopatra still rule? There is no ruler in Egypt. Plunged into the will of various tyrants. Our queen has abandoned us for Rome. Nothing has changed here. Memphis is overrun by the Order. Aya, we need you. like this. Aya, that cursed Mark's fear should stay hidden forever. Cause so much pain. Morias para 
Whoa. Our victories have multiplied, our bond not so. We could never have been. Everything has told us our love is impossible. You are right. Something bigger has called us. But our love lives in the Duat. Only now we are letting go. Let the gods decide. The gods are dead. We must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. All this darkness was for a reason. I was wrong to be so reckless in public without killing. We must work in the shadows. Egypt has fallen. Greece also. And Rome will fall too. All will fall to the creed, yet no one will know. When we assassinate, we assassinate only those who deserve it. The few sick souls who try to control us. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kill. I am fine with this. I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Magi. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades and pull what hope is left from this foul earth. Finished. Those I don't need to be your to last you. words. Who the fuck are you? Ah! Does the name William Miles ring a bell? The assassin? Then you know who I am. We, the assassins, have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. D. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alexandria. Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough. Ibed! 
A little personal space, huh? These modifications are brilliant. What you did with the dialysis unit... You'll have to meet Rebecca. You two will get on like a house on fire. And then probably set a house on fire. Yeah. Yours. Best way to avoid this jerk is to get back in the Animus. Is that for Foxy does? A gift? No. It's a relic. I don't want to talk about it, Damastis. Isn't that Bayex? Let me have it. I'll give it to Foxy does myself. He loves these things. I'll kill you. How about that? I'm in no mood for compromise today. Past Neopolis in the crack of morning. A strong wind, you'll be standing in Rome's forum in uh, two days' time. It's over between you and Bayek, eh? I can feel. No decision is easy. But you are a chosen one. And now you are free! <laughs> like me! So begins a new day. Guard entirely. We should assume they are expecting us. You sound thrilled about it. Eager, old man. Eager to be done with this scum and move on to the next pile of scum. Infinite scum. Such is the world we live in. Brothers, we have been spotted. Those flares will summon their navy. Prepare yourselves. Here they come. Forward, men, litter the sea with their shattered hulls. Dragors. Ah! Stay 
Gods. Our fleet is too tightly formed. Then hit us. We are overwhelmed. These hell ships are too many. We must sink them before they reach us. Then to us if they strike us. Take them down. Fire ship front. Let's 
slaggers! Form up with the rest! Today, we sail together! What port are you taking us to? There is a town called Antium I'd like to try. Lots of merchants sail in and out of there. Should be safe for you. From there, it's a half day's ride to Rome. It is only a matter of days before Caesar will officially become a tyrant. There he is. The people love you, Caesar. You're a god. The Senate will not bow so easily. That parliament of clucking heads. Let me be your wolf. of the order now. Caesar is the father of understanding. You and Caesar will die. You are meddling with the affairs of the order. The order is greater than Rome. Go back to Egypt with the rest of the liars and slaves. Huh. You make me understand why murder is just. I command armies. I control greatness. I will erase your order from the annals. Kneel to Caesar. Kneel to Rome. It feels good to side with winners. We are the writers of history. Caesar will follow you to oblivion. Your son pissed himself when he saw the knife. I will feed your heart to vultures. You have no honor. You've stolen everything from me. I am a Gabiniani. I thought you would scurry away, little one. You should have taken your chance to drop off the map. Flavius isn't here to save you this time, Septilius. No Roman deals will be made. My son's heart. For your life. Was revenge everything you hoped? 
You and the Magi shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. <laughs> Stuff. With the order, I served them and your beloved Egypt, and I'll be rewarded in the afterlife. An eternity of drinking and whoring with my brothers. The only thing that waits for you is oblivion. For your name, your order, and the rotting corpses of your Gabignani. Up and devour your fettered heart. with the rest of the Senate. This place is crawling with soldiers. Huh? 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 Huh?
Filhos bastardos! Abusa qui sentiamo in corpore! Andate! I ask only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome. A Rome with you as king? Let Caesar speak! We want a Rome that offers justice, peace and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. You are just as privileged as I. I am not dictator for life. An honor bestowed upon me by the people of Rome. Would you have me refuse such a gift? We would have you think of Rome before yourself. I will unite the Republic. Senators Populusque Romanus for the Senate and the people of Rome. Republic? You speak of Republic while coveting a crown? Marcus Antonius offered me the crown at the Lupercalia festival. I refused it. And what a pretty play it was. You don't need a crown. They have made you a god! Mark me, Gaius Cassius Longinus. Support me in my dreams for Rome, and old divisions will be forgotten. Senators, the war is over! The drums of dissent have reached a fever pitch. Rome will not be a monarchy again. It seems Brutus would start a revolution. But against what, my friend? We desire the same things. How can you say that when you have raised yourself so far above the people? I speak for the people! You have seized the rights of the citizenry! No! The people infused with fear and blinded by patriotism offered up all of their rights to their leader and did it gladly so! Who made you leader of Rome? The Eternal City herself! Caesar will not be reasoned with! Senators, we still have a voice in this forum. I will hear your complaints. Caesar deigns to listen. Romans rejoice. You are free now! Do I know you? You who strikes from the shadows. The same fate will come to all despots. In the end... It is impossible not to become what others believe you are. And I was a god! There is a new creed now. Yeah! Rome is eternal! She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. Requiescat in pace, Caesar.
Do you know what you've done? A Caesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Listen to the cries in the streets. They call you a dead titan's whore. I am still your queen. You are a queen of liars and snakes. I fought for you for five years. Our people worshipped you. Apollodorus died for you for Egypt. For Egypt? I am Egypt! Then be the ruler our people deserve. Or nothing will save you from my blade across your throat. You are the last of the pharaohs. Bayek. Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome. Yet, no one knows of our existence. Like Amun, we are the Hidden Ones. I believe in you. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward. Remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Despite it all, we dance, and they die. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever. But this creed will. The creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Go home. You're free. I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. Should we take him to the Bureau? No. I'll take you home. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure. For your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer who I was. I have renounced all love I once had. I have renounced Aya. I have killed Aya. I am now the Hidden One, known as Amunet. Victories multiply. Papa? Jump.